was gonna ask what y'all did in your solo sessions. Oh, well, it was it was riveting. You see, I came back. I did a little research. Uh, I went to a restaurant, and my boy Oaks hit me up. We we went and fought some monkeys. We he had Why? A, he's like, I got a job for you, and I'm like, let's do it, man. And now I'm the monkey king. Why? Um. I, well, I got I got this cool armor. Kind of. Sh- no, we'll explain that right that now. That doesn't. It's explain. not ready yet. But, you know, yeah, that doesn't explain why, Jory. I mean, he got a job for me. I'm getting my, I'm, you know, when Oaks calls, you answer. Wise words. Um, what about you, so Ethan? About that, and why? Uh, 85 platinum, and you now have platinum. gorilla armor. Gorilla armor? Now, what does gorilla armor look like? Could you please describe that to you me? You can actually figure that out for yourself. Like that is like completely up to you. How you? I imagine it like designed. you know in SpongeBob the gorilla <coughs> costume. Please, please. That's no. what I'm kind of imagining. Please, no. Like please, a really yes. scary no. one. Yes. Oh yes. no. We have fucking except, except it's kind of gorilla costume. We have to kind go of back. like a second furry. It we have just, it's kind of. <laughs> It's kind of like a cardigan esque thing, so it's like a hoodie, like a trendy hoodie. Okay. Except it's the gorilla's head. Yeah, it's oh just, it's God. trendy. Yeah. Real gorilla. I, I'm sorry, Peter. Just is kidding. it is it real gorilla or is so, it fine? By the way, on D and D Beyond, that's spelled uh, not gorilla but gorilla, like G, uh, like the army. G U E. Yeah, G U E R I L L A, like the army. Guerrilla. Gorilla, like graphical user interface. Gorilla. Uh, oh my God. All right. A anyways. Gooey. I so, allow. 85 from that. Um, I feel like there were some things I needed to get out of the way. Oh, you. I don't remember what we rolled for that one D20. Can you just roll it for me? I think you rolled a 15, but honestly, let's just do it on. What the fuck was it for? It's like some bullshit. 19. Okay. I'll take that over the 15. Hold on. I was going to say, if you got a shitty roll, you had to be like, ah, no. It's just like, nah, nah, you said 15. This was a redo. It's not even that, though. It's um, like a... Also, message from one of my friends who watches this pop- podcast. They say we need to do more vibe checks. Vibe check. Go. So, like, how we do, like, oh... Um, Dungeon Master. Perception what's... check. We need to do a vibe check. Oh. Can you roll <laughs> a vibe check? Christ. I feel like you can't... Roll a vibe check for you me. You can't roll a so vibe, vibe check. So, vibe check is a... Um, basically, how I've five. ruled it is it's a um, improvised weapon. So, vibe check is, like, you literally are, like... Vibe check, and then you grab like a chair or something. You just whack them. It's an Dude, I did a vibe so, check, and I one d four plus whatever. Were we serious? Because oh, no. like, no, there's yes, a lot of stuff serious. next to me. No, 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 Please not in real life. In game. in game, in game. Please don't break my furniture. No, they are fucking hell. We have expensive equipment here. Please don't break my furniture. I mean, I was about to pick up Mason. Please no. Okay, okay. So unfortunately, we don't have. We don't have our good boy Chris here because he is uh, he has an emergency last minute, so we can't have him. Sad face. Everyone say aww. 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 Okay, there we go. Maybe one day he'll show up to probability. Maybe one day he'll show up to fucking 422 C. <laughs> Maybe one day he'll show up to the fucking podcast. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> one day he'll let's come our, to Let's class. keep our fucking uh, priorities straight, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck a girl. We're putting Chris on blast right now. Yeah. Chris Just skip, so everybody skip, knows, skip his fight. first, middle, and last name is no. <laughs> I don't even. Remember That's my editing name. problem. Okay. I think it's. That was Daniel. I have to edit this out now. <laughs> well, we're just guessing. <laughs> no, I don't care if it's a guess. Like, it's where's his find... last name? It's his middle name. Yeah, it's not like we. <laughs> <laughs> I already had to edit it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please just bleep that. Just please just like bleep it okay, out. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I got it out. I got it out. <laughs> so it's been a week since Taha told you to meet with him. Um, and he said to meet in a week. Okay. Okay. So I guess I, I'll just assume you all head over there and you're basically waiting outside of his Wait, office. Wait, hang on. Can I find out what the night team is for? No. Oh, okay. I, I thought, I th- okay. I get, I thought I was supposed to find out and you just didn't tell me. I was like, Wait. No, okay. you don't know. Sorry. Um, but I will say it's not the worst it could have been. What do you mean it's not the worst it could have been? Well, it's worse for me because now I have to rewrite some shit, but it's fine. So, I mean, you could just gotta keep write. the 15. Huh? You can just keep the 15. The 15 would have been worse off for you, actually. Never mind. Dude, well, it's a 19. How bad <laughs> can... Whining? It's random. It's not like... Yeah, 19 num- could numbers. be like a really nice thing, and then 15 is really bad, and then 14 is really good. Like it's one, just random. No it's cares. not. It's not like Bitch, actually it's like completely random. 
Okay, so you guys are outside of Taha's. Calm down, everyone. Uh, you're outside of Taha's office, yeah. and um, basically Josephine like kind of led you guys there, and you told she told you all that he's like wrapping up a meeting uh, with well, someone. I wonder with who. And so, yeah, standing outside the room, uh, you see a human who is wearing like these long, um, dark red robes, uh, and he has like this crate of something next to him, and he's just sort of waiting as well. What's your name? Lotion Hawk. Nice to meet you. Lotion? Lotion. 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 Ah, the Lotion Hawk. Lo- lotion Lock? Glad to see you, Mr. Lotion. Lotion oh Lock? My. It's nice to meet you, Lotion. What's in the crate, Lotion? None of your business. What's in your crate, Lotion? Uh, can, I, can I tell uh, what his might, intentions might be based on the way he said that? Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, make an inside check. Oh, wait, I don't know. Make a, make a vibe check. Vibe. <laughs> the first vibe check of the game. We really need to rebrand them. Okay. I, I, I feel like vibe check is such a better name for it. Than for what? Ins- inside inside check? check. Oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. I mean, I was just thinking vibe check as in like you pick up a chair and throw it, but. Oh. And you like keep it. Uh, keep everything. Well, keep really your party a vibe. in mind. That is a. Use those dice. Bro, like yeah, when next time Chris shows up, no, nobody tell him about the vibe check and just like vibe check like I'd in like the to, middle like of like an check. argument or something. <laughs> like just pick up a chair and smash it on Toro. Yeah. <laughs> nice idea. Although like knowing it. our luck, like he'd probably break the chair and then kill us, but. Okay. I apologize that it took so long. That's a 16. 16? Um, he seems like he's not really like up to anything like suspicious. Like it seems like he's just kind of waiting patiently. What does the box look like? The crate is just like it. It's a crate, um, like a wooden crate. It doesn't. You don't know what's inside. No markings or anything. Make a perception check. He was waiting there when you guys okay, came. Mm-hmm. Nineteen. Nineteen. So that's interesting. <laughs> so <laughs> this is what I'll let you know. You have seen this crate once before, or uh, not what this crate, fuck? not this crate. Sorry, uh, you've seen similar crates in the past. Tail the uh, traveling. You crate. noticed like some writing on on it, um, and it seems familiar to you, but it's not something that you've seen recently. It's hard to remember where you've seen it. I'll stop him. I, you know what? I'm going to call this man out. Hey, I've seen that crate before. Where'd you get it from? I doubt it. I know I have. Well, what proof do you have? Oh, shit. Where have we been in the past month or so? We've been in. We've only been to one place. Redwater. You ever heard of Redwater? Yes. I've been there plenty of times. Is it coral? No, it's not coral. I had to ask. God, Mr. Lotion. We'll stop, we'll stop lotion. We'll stop calling lotion, you lotion. Huh? That's what we've been saying. That's what we're saying. Lotion. 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 We'll stop calling you lotion if you tell us what's in the crate. Attempting offer, but one I'll have to deny. All right, All right. lotion. Why are you here? Are you here to talk with someone inside? Of course, I'm waiting for Taha. Hmm, interesting. And what business do you have? Wanting to say hi. Drop in. Hmm. See my old friend. With a mysterious crate. Yes. Let's just say it's the- a gift. Mm. Let's just say that the safety of Taha is also in our best interest. So how about you tell us what's in the crate? You work for him? Yes, we do. Make a persuasion check. Ooh, he's good at those. Come on. Natural one, come on. Hang on. Half your character sheet's in front of you. What is this? I, I, I do. I it's <laughs> like, okay. it was on spells. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh shit, 19. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, fine. And then he just quickly opens it up. Oh, shit. And he just... Uh, An it, egg. It's a bunch of... <laughs> Can I offer you a nice egg? It's a bunch of trend? bottles of what seems to be rum. Ooh. Rum. And anyone who has the sailor background can make a history Some check. Fucking me. Or if you're proficient in history. No, actually, no. You cannot do that. Is, uh, Only wait, if you have a sailor is, background, you can make a history Toro check. Also I'm going to do it. Toro is not... Do- he's like... He's asleep. He didn't notice this. Oh, Damn it. Cool. I got a two. Two? <laughs> yeah. You got a two? What the fuck? Okay, I'm so, sorry. Does anybody see? else have a sailor background and wants to try and see what it is? So anyways, no. you look at the rum and you're like, cool. The yeah. cooking background. What kind of rum is it? Special. Closes the box. Any chance I might be able to pr- procure something from you? I have a feeling. No. It's kind of a little too expensive for you. Oh, how so? 
And Jack's going to snap his fingers, and with his shift weave, he's going to get into his fancy garbs. A nice parlor trick, but this, each bottle, I would say, at least costs me, hmm, how do you value human, how much do you value human life at in gold? 50 cents. Hmm. None. 50 gold? 50 copper. Hmm, 50 copper. Uh, 60. Well, they were kind of important people. 65. Did you kill people to get this rum? No, no, but they died in the process. So, an indirect consequence of you getting this rum. Wait. Exactly. 20. No, no, no. I, guys. <laughs> Final I think, offer 10. I think, I think you mean <laughs> Final something offer. different. The rum isn't made of human life, is it? No. No, what it, the it, fuck? it kills people. The rum? Hey. At this time, the door opens up and you see Taha. 10 cents. Huh? <laughs> what? Five. Five what? Five, five copper. Final what, offer. Jory? No, final offer. What is wrong, Going Taha? once, Where going twice. Where have you been? Who's Sold wrong? to the man in the this Mr. Man. Lotion. Oh, and then he's oh. a hand job. He looks over at Lucian, <laughs> and he, you see his, like, his face just like drops in shock, and he's like, Lucian. He's like, Taha, how have you been? Lucian, it's been 10 years. I'm pronouncing his name wrong. And like you see both of them are like, <laughs> both of them are just kind of looking at each other, like kind of in shock for a moment. Duh. And then like, Duh. and then like, <laughs> Taha's like starts to smile and like start laughing, and then they're both like just like kind of laughing along. It's like, <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, how long has it actually been? Oh, about ten months. Ugh. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. Well, anyways, I'm here back again. I decided to bring along this little gift for you. Oh, thank you. Um, why don't you come in, uh, all of you? We need to get you all out of here immediately. So come on in too. Taha, what kind of rum is that? Are you going to throw a party without us? No. Apparently it's no, too Are you willing to share the rum, Taha? Probably. I mean, I don't know uh, what type of rum. Come on in. and then Apparently like, people died in the process of yeah, getting it's like it. like soul rum. So anyways, all of you are inside <laughs> of the office, uh, and he, White like, the claw. rum is on the... Welcome to this episode entitled <laughs> Rum. <laughs> <laughs> Is it red rum? Why is the rum so always... Anyways, Whoa, all, so anyways... Oh, shit! You're, you're all, like, kind of sitting around his, like, thing, and he's looking at the rum, and he's like, Lucian, where'd you get this? And he's like, well, you know where I went. Oh. Okay. Why can't you share with us, Lotion? Why do you have to be so mysterious? Let's just say this information may be a little too shocking for all of you, so... To real? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna take that as a uh, yes <laughs> by your reaction. Wait, what did you say? I'm up to real. Okay, well, oh. you got me, Jack. I guess I can't. Yes, the, the rum is from Terrell. And then all of a sudden, it kind of snaps back in your head. Like when wait you were looking at the rum before, you're like, wait, wait. I've never seen wait, this wait. before. <gasps> and then, like, all of a sudden, <laughs> you like it, like, it's like lights going off in like your head. Jimmy you're like Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're like, you're literally blast, having a brain blast. blast. As like you're seeing the rum fly around your brain and then you realize, <laughs> wait a second, I've drank this exact kind of rum on Turil before. It's a common drink uh, sailors near the Swords Coast uh, actually have. And you bitch ass said that I was too poor for that type of rum. <sighs> well, seems like the cat's out of the bag. Um, yes, we got it from Turil. It's, I mean... It's probably expensive in that it's hard to get more than actual cost. That's fair. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hmm. Wait, wait. No one could go to Torio. Yeah, wait. How did you... Did Is you that how people died? Boat? And you see, like, he's kind of looking over at Lucian. He's like, I was really hoping they didn't figure that part out. <laughs> I'm really surprised. We're not that, dumb, I'm surprised. Taha. I'm su- I, I, I'll, g- I'll give it to Taha. I'm surprised that we did figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I could not. have just gone home. <laughs> after how long it took us in red water. <laughs> after, after we guessed fucking xenomorph juice. <laughs> you probably, it was a safe assumption, baby. It was a safe, safe assumption. assumption. Yeah. That we would uh, drink some dumb bitch juice before walking up in here. <laughs> He's literally like, I really did not expect that to, like, you all to figure that out that quickly. Um, yes, test results aside. Um, okay, well, yes, we did get it from Terrell. Uh, Lucian has sort of been on a mission to go to Turil for a while now. Exactly. Took me years to figure out the way back there. And not die? Well, a lot of my friends died on the way, but I got there successfully, and now oh. I made it out. Oh. Congratulations. Only took me, well, apparently ten months. Wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. Time's different? Wait. Time dilation. What are you even saying? Jack has no idea what he's saying. He's just like say time stuff. He's like timey wimey okay? wibbly wobbly. Um, no, that's gotta oh. be right. <laughs> it seems like figuring that much out broke his brain for yeah. today. We'll have to move on. Give him a second. Do you have any milk? Um, no. Uh, uh, give him some rum. He needs rum. It'll. It'll. All right. Fine. Up. Fine. And then he like he uh, snaps his fingers and some like cups are, uh, appear, and you all sort of are able to get a little bit of rum. Woo, Jack takes a get, sip and how's it taste? It tastes very familiar. You've had it before. <laughs> tastes but, like, like does rum. Does it taste good? It tastes it's right. <laughs> a lot of people died for this. This is pretty mediocre. Soul Lo- lotion. Rum. Now, watch your mouth there. Five of my friends died in the process. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's worth five. Do we all have rum or just Jack? Oh, yeah. No, everyone got Jory yeah, 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 has a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's worth five people. Yeah, it's five people, right? So... Now convert how much a person costs. Okay, I say maybe ten copper person. Well, it depends on the it's person. About 50 if we're copper. talking about like shippy, maybe like five oh, copper. Oh, sure, he's worth but, definitely like, less. If we're talking about like he's easily me, worth I mean, less. at least. In a any case, uh, <laughs> Taha, I think I'll go back to my uh, laboratory. Is it still around? Yes, Lucian. We didn't get rid of it. All right then. Well, I'll go and uh, start logging down the What's ways back to. To real again and see if I can't get the process down a little bit shorter this time. And he uh, kind of heads off. Shit. Cool. All right. And so now you guys are with Taha. So Raven's Moon. Yes, Raven's Moon. That's where you will all be heading. Uh, so word finally arrived this morning. So it seems that what I feared is true. The thing that is hidden on Raven's Moon has possibly been found and it is very worrying if anyone were to get it aside from us us yes golden claw in general okay will there be other agents of golden claw raven's moon it's possible that they're sending one um or two in any case raven's moon is home to or well it was believed for a long time is home to an artifact known as charon's obelisk Charon's Obelisk. Yes. Is anybody going to write that down? Or should Our I write resident note taker is not here today, so someone really should. Right. Oh. <laughs> um, now, Golden Claw has known for a long time that it's possible that the Obelisk was located under a specific hotel on Raven's Moon, uh, owned by a person that we technically insure. Uh, it's called the Lemon Pepper Lodge, and that's where the Obelisk is believed to be uh, located. What's the artifact called again? Charon's Obelisk. Can you, Charon? Charon. C H A R O N. Huh? No, not Karen. Charon. <laughs> okay, so he quickly runs over to a bookshelf and he grabs a uh, a map. It seems, and he like lays it out in front of all of you, and you guys now have the map of the Hash Coast, where uh, awesome. the, lemon, the Lemon Pepper Lodge is located. Did he say, um, what did he say about the Lemon Pepper Lodge? That's where the uh, Charon's Obelisk is believed to have been hidden years ago. And so, it seems that recently the there's been levels discovered below the actual Lemon Pepper Lodge. And it seems that most people believe that's where the Obelisk is hidden. And so, since then, we've actually only received word late. For some reason, it seems, uh, the people who were supposed to inform us of this were killed. And I only learned about it once you all brought that letter back to me. So, as you can imagine, we're a little late on this one. So, we need all of you to head there immediately. Uh, But shopping... Due to the uh, delay in us receiving this information, it seems that at least... Several groups of mercenaries have arrived there. We sent someone out uh, to just to see what was happening. I finally sent a message back to us that a large number of mercenaries are staying at the Lemon Pepper Lodge and currently going into the levels below trying to find the obelisk. Oh, no. Dungeon crawl. Woo! So, I need all of you to head there. Um, and then he reaches down and grabs a ba- little like bag that seems to be made out of metal. Okay. He puts it down. When you find the obelisk, if you make it to there in time, yeah. I really hope you do, 
put it inside of here. Do not touch it. Do not do anything with it. It is extremely important that you do not touch it. What happens if we touch it? I don't know. All the notes I have on this artifact say that you will most likely die. A few pages. Um, well, this one says your arm explodes. Well, what if we all hold it together? What if we let the Shippy power hold of it friendship? And then we'll try it. If it, 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 it goes hey. one person apparently just turned into a lich just like that. Whoa, okay. whoa, whoa. Hmm. Okay, Sh- Shippy but the lich sounds pretty cool. I know. Yeah, I, think, I, I think we need a I, lich. Please on do not our create a lich. We could use a lich. Just something. I'm not going to use a lich on Raven's Blood. Blood Eve is on, on our a side. Lot, a lot of ghost spooky energy, you know. But guys, we can do it if we all hold it together with the power of friendship. Ex- I agree. Yeah, that's how you. I saw it in a movie one time. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Friendship number one. He's a wizard. Todd, do you he's have any wizard. advice Listen on what him. we should do? <laughs> well, first off, well, you have the map. I suppose once you get there, you you're gonna land down in a town called Stuford. Stuford. Yes. Okay. Once you get to Stuford, uh, <laughs> plan out. A- I hope that wasn't named after a Twitter follower. <laughs> no, it was not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel bad for them. <laughs> that's what. That's when we get so- someone making a, t- a account for someone named Stuford and being yeah. like, "Wow, that's me. <laughs> I'm in the picture." <laughs> like, okay. sorry, right. Stuford, if you're out there. I'm sorry. We Stufer. love our Stufers in the world. Yeah. So, uh, plan out a path to the Lemon Pepper Lodge, and you'll be good to go. Uh, Why can't we ne- land near the lodge? Yeah. Is it a hot zone because of the mercenaries? Sergeant. Well, Raven's Moon is currently entering its winter, which means blizzards. So, Ooh. over land masses might not be the best place to fly. I'll say that much. Oh, I see. It's a good thing we have Shippy. To help direct us, Jory. Yeah, and like hold any large obelisks we might need to. Oh, kinda... so it's cold there, you say? We should Extremely probably, cold. We should get something to keep us warm. Raven's Moon is probably the coldest mm. place I've ever been. Wait, to clarify, do I have the gorilla? I mean, the, the gorilla armor? We'll get to that. Okay, I don't have it on though right now. Have you been Not to yet. Minnesota? Not yet. Oh, damn, yeah. this would have been a good time to put on the... The mask. Wait. <laughs> Just keep going. We'll get you. <laughs> you. You can have it. Fine. Fuck it. You have it. I have it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know the DM's tired when he says, fine, fuck it. You have it. <laughs> like, Just take it. That's fine. Okay, you pull it over your head and you have your... What was the last thing that was said? Never mind. We'll have you ever been to Minnesota? Okay. So, in any case... <laughs> Minnesota is what you said? <laughs> I'm sorry. Without a game So, content. in any case, you uh just go along and... I really hope you all don't die. Um, don't Jack, kinda, Jack kinda like looks just starts looking confused like around the room. I, like, I, say, I look at Taha and I say, fuck. Don't worry, Taha. I would really ask almost anyone else to do this just because of how dangerous it seems. I look at I look at Taha and I say Currently war between the Dwarven forges and the uh Elven fleet is sort of breaking out. So which what is, you're saying is we're last on your list. No, not last. There is one group that is last. So distinctly s- last. But you see, guys, we're still on the list. I look at Taha and I say, don't worry, Taha. We'll be in and out. No one will know we were ever there. And then I put on the mask. The gr- I, I put the gorilla suit. You know, I imagine it kind of like a onesie. <laughs> <laughs> With like a cardigan and I just kind of like put put the hood on and leave the room. Stealthily. Oh my god. Can I roll a stealth check? <laughs> <laughs> you can roll a stealth check. You I'm could. rolling a stealth check. I hope you know. Taha just watches as Jory slowly. Very crawls slowly. Out of the room. I'm, I'm just tiptoeing out. Very, very slowly, not looking at my stats. It's a 15. I'm going to roll a vibe check. <laughs> <laughs> Eight. Do I get any modifier? Yeah, you get your strength modifier. It's an insight. Oh, strength modifier. Oh, it's strength. Shit. I thought we. Okay, I thought Wait, we. Which type of vibe, vibe check, check is this? I really. Oh, I'm gonna hit him with something. Okay, hit, yeah. hit me. Hit me. Hit yeah. me. And hit Taha. Hit Taha. No, don't what? do it, Taha. Hit. That's my father figure. Hey, yeah, I forgot. He's oh, my abilities. dad. <laughs> the big plot twist we've been waiting for all Ten. season. Ten. I would cry. Yes. Actually. What is your AC? Uh, 15. It does not hit. Oh. What does he hit me with? So basically, Jack, you pick up a chair and you just throw it at Jory and you see him like duck out I of like, the like I like give a little screech and skitter out of the room like a crab. Exactly. 
Exactly what happens. N- not even slightly different from that. With a with a mediocre uh, stealth roll. Yes. So it's kind of quiet. Oh, oh um, I have advantage on stealth rolls. For sound. This is very visual. But it's partly sound. Bro, you're right next to all of us. Whatever. I'm out, I'm out of the room. <laughs> what do you mean, whatever? I'm out okay. of the room. I'm out of the room. Okay. Um, all I'm saying it was past 20 on the second roll. In so. any case, uh, if you're all done with whatever this is happening right now, uh, Josephine has some items for you downstairs. Go Very on well. and head there. Very well. We'll also be on our way right after we go shopping. That's fine. Yeah. Ooh. Go ahead. Get you know get whatever you need to survive Raven's Moon. I highly recommend. This mission is urgent. You must leave at once. We need to go shopping first because Abel promised us we could get we could go shopping for magic Spend items. Spend <laughs> that money. Uh, just make sure uh, pack warm and comfortable, uh, and deadly. Probably need that as well. And good luck. Deadly is my middle name. All right. Well, Justin's waiting for you. I'm gonna go catch up catch up with Lucian, and uh, he goes off. Uh, have fun with your lotion. Yes, yeah. moisturizing is important. Yes. <laughs> he gives you like a little like, oh, Ethan. And he just I'm sorry, Daha. Prevent, <laughs> prevent <laughs> that Please that don't dryness. be angry with me. <laughs> so when Ethan does this, it's so charming. When I do it, it's you immature. Get to, you get to um, Josephine's like lab and, you know, she has that fucking bag of mysteries again. Well, hello there, Joe. Hello, Jack. Okay. Which one of you is first? Jack winks. Which I'll go bag? first, Joe. All right, put your hand in. I forgot how this works. We, what do we Don't do? Don't move your hand. Don't move my hand. All right, so you put your hand in, and then like you hear the. <laughs> oh, who's your good boy? Okay, uh, and then like five check. You move your five hand. Check. You better not move your hand. No. I. Five. I check. won't move my hand this time. Huh? I won't move my hand this time. Good. All right, so uh, eventually you hear. Something get like get pushed, or you don't hear. Sorry, you feel something get pushed into get your push. uh, hand, and you feel like something like long, like a rod almost. Ooh! You pull it out. You pull get the out. wand of pyrotechnics. Ooh, good that boy, sound Bailey. At all good like. boy. What the I'm gonna, I'm gonna pet the bag. It's a bag. I, I'm gonna like pet it and say, "Good boy, Bailey." I walk in. Like, Jack, that's not how it works. This dude oh, just right. got a stick. What is that? That looks useless. You next, then. All right, yeah. You look you useless. Open. I I reach in there, close my eyes, and look away. <laughs> okay, and then you uh you feel some like cloth pushed in your hand. I rip it out. You get the hat of vermin, and it can look like whatever type of hat. A you hat? Have. I get a hat. Yeah. Of what? Vermin. Oh, what is this? Is it a fedora? No. You it's can make trilby. it look like whatever you wanted to. I'll, I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna think about it. Okay. It's a it's a blob hat right now. Okay. Uh, then she holds it up to you, Ethan. All right. I stick my hand in. Okay. Uh, Please don't make the noise again. <laughs> 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 uh, eventually, you feel like a a rod like uh, thing in your hand as well. That's what I love to feel when I stick my hand in strange places. <laughs> 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 Firm rod. <laughs> hey, pulling I got it out, one too. Pulling it out, you get Talk a wand later, Jack. of conductance. <laughs> wand of what? Conductance. Okay. I'll just put like, that. Like, what kind of conductance? I'll, like, I'll engineering conductance no, or... No, stop. stop, don't, don't but, say that word. Or, like, like word. band, like, four, three, two, one, I said four, it three, chat. two, one, oh four, God. three, two, one. <laughs> okay, I know what, what the hat looks like. What about a wand of inductance? So, wait, do I know what the hat does, too? Yes, you do. Okay, the hat, it's a chef's hat? Yes. Okay, and I go up to Ethan, and I say, Hey, Ethan, have you ever seen Ratatouille? And then I, I, what, do I assign a command word? No, you just shoot a rat out, it's fine. Okay, and a rat crawls from under my chef's hat. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Remy, and then I throw <laughs> him at you. Have you seen this? Uh, like they trained rats to drive little tiny cars. I did not see that. It's what? fucking incredible. Remy has evolved. Wait, <laughs> he's evolved, guys. We, we should, have a podcast. We should train these <laughs> rats. <laughs> we, should, on. we should train these rats. I'm already to do on things. it. Remy, come they're, here. They're Remy. not friendly. They Remy, away. oh, they're not friendly. So basically, what happens is he walks over to you. He has a rat, and then he throws it at you, Ethan, and like scampers on you, like, <laughs> and it like kind of runs like up your shirt. Go, and then Remy, jumps off go, and like just runs away. 
You have to name each one differently. Oh, they're all going to be characters from Ratatouille already. So the wand of pyrotechnics, is that basically like a flare gun? Wand of conducting? <laughs> kind, of, <yeah. laughs> kind of use it like a flare gun? Like yeah. it shoots like it's, a flare gun? Awesome. Do you mean wand of conducting? It, I sent the thing. You just sent the name of it. Yeah. Yeah, but oh, it's so, not... Oh, wand of conducting? Is that what it's called? Yeah. I, may, I may have spelled it wrong. Yeah. So, yeah, because uh, there's no wand of conductance. Yeah. Sorry. I, I probably spelled it wrong, yeah. We'll find out. This wand has three charges. While holding it, you can use an action to expend one of its charges and create an orchestral music by waving it around. The music can be heard out to a range of 60 feet and <laughs> ends when you stop waving the wand. <laughs> okay. It's very on I brand honestly, for me, though, because I have the dumbest fucking <laughs> items ever. On a, hold on. The wand regains all expended charges daily at dawn. If you expend the wand's last charge, roll the d20. On a one, a sad tuba sound plays as the wand <laughs> crumbles to dust and is destroyed. What the fuck? That's I literally read it and I was like I have to give this to you. I feel like my yes. <laughs> most utility just because like you don't need to tune to it and you can basically use it like a flare gun. I need to take speak with animals now. <laughs> I've been wanting this spell for so long, but I gotta heal everyone. So I'm being like I ha- I keep having these decisions. Like now I could take speak with animals and it'd be really funny. It'd be so great, <laughs> but Jack might die. <laughs> Am I okay with that? And then I decide I, I love Not Unless if Abel gives me light armor proficiency. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> you just need All a right. gorilla suit, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then she lets uh, Toro go through the same process, and he gets a rope. Uh, what's this rope? A rope of mending. What's it do? You can cut it up, and it'll repair itself. <laughs> huh. You sound a little weird today. Toro, Toro. yeah, wait. Yeah. I mean, how are you I feeling? Do you need some cough drops? I have a cold. <laughs> Leave uh, me how alone, long has guys. that been going on? Leave me alone. Are you okay? You want to talk about it? No, I long. don't. <laughs> I just want I just want more Toro voice now. I cannot be appeased. This whole episode is going to be like, Toro, what do you think? <laughs> well, Toro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well... Uh, that's all I have for all of you. Good luck, I guess. It's, this mission doesn't sound easy. Don't worry, Joe. We will be back. Gives you a hug and a quick kiss. I all hug right, her back. Good luck. Thank you. Let's go shopping, fellas. All right. So you start heading to the Sunrise Stockpile. Oh, God. Oh, no. Jory. Ethan. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> I'll start the sunrise stock when I get here. So, was Jack ever able to, in his downtime, to research about Ellie with the school's library? Oh, yeah, you wanted to do that, right? Yeah, I did. Um, why don't you roll a religion or history check? A religion or history? Yeah. Well, let's see which one I have more of. Neither. I'll go history. 16. 16. Elastri is a god of the drow. Um, that usually um, regarded as one of the nicer gods of the drow. Um, nice. Comparatively. Uh, seems like recently, though, uh, after the Gephoran Empire has invaded a lot of different planets, um, sort of her main areas of like her worshippers have been taken over by the Gephoran and oh, they nice. banned her okay. worship. Oh, okay. Which is um why she's kind of fallen out of popularity recently. Oh, okay. Within the last thousand years. Oh, okay. And that's what you've been able to gather. Oh, okay. Is there a restricted section in the library? Yeah. There isn't like every like fantasy like library. <sighs> Like in real library, this is a magic library. So what you've been able to so gather is, is from like what little information they have about gods and stuff. So it's not like a complete religious thing. Okay. But is there a restricted section in the library? Let's say yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm not saying I would have tried to search it. Yeah. Yeah. There is but. like, there, I would say there's probably is like, since you've only been there for a week, they probably haven't let you like have access because, like, you are a professor, but at the same time, you're, like, you're not tenured yet, so. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> that's what they think. So, yeah, that's what's happened. Uh, so, all of you arrive at the Sunrise Stockpile. Um, 
approaching, you see the two like large metal people outside, and mm, I know what's gonna happen. Inside, <laughs> wait, 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 like, wait, wait, goblin outside, mm. goblin man. Yeah, uh, make a perception check. <gasps> Let's find a little, little goblin friends. man. It's uh, eighteen. Ooh. No goblin. Damn. No goblin. There. Walking inside, there are a lot of boxes which are piled up, and you can see Suri is like walking around and sort of packing things up into boxes. Suri, what's going on, my friend? Mm. Uh, oh, quickly of note, there is a half orc who is hanging out by the counter, or uh, behind the counter. It seems like new hire, possibly. You haven't seen him there before. Uh, Hello there, friend. Get ready. <laughs> Prepare yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? I'm trying to it's like. Been so <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. Am I gonna be able to? Oh, well, well, well. Look at the spicy boys who've walked in. The raw sexual energy in the room just like shot up. Our clothes evaporate. Hmm. <laughs> 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 wow, clothes evaporating. I have something. No, in the that was back a joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, if if you don't want it to be a joke, I have something in the back. But unfortunately, I don't have much time today, boys. I've got to get out of here. Why are you leaving? Well, turns out that our little boy Kebab, who escaped from here a little bit time ago, I just recently realized what happened. That night, when I, he crashed through that window in the front, I thought that's what all that happened. But turns out he took something of a little bit more value to me. So, what did he take? Mm, that's classified. Why can't maybe, we, maybe in the future we take? can help you. Mm, I'm sure you can help me, but not in the way you think. In any case... <laughs> <laughs> Sir, now, mom, and, come pick me up. I'm scared. Mom, they're talking about. <laughs> I don't even know, mom. So you <laughs> gotta come pick me up. It's been so long. Oh, I love you, so mom. Much. They're talking about. I don't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> mm. Mm. So curious how you escaped, right, Jack? What? Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, you, you, you. So Wait, curious how our little boy Kebab escaped, right? How do he escape? Oh, if only we knew, right? If only we did know. If only. If only. Well, in any case, I gotta go on this fucking crazy adventure now to go and find him. Probably kill him too, but, you know, that's a little bit for... We'll decide when I get there, I guess. Well, good luck, Shuri. Of course. Anyways, Gershon here is going to be running the store while I'm gone. What? What's his name? Gershon. Gershon. And yeah, you see he's like in the corner. He's like, yeah, hey, I'm, I'm Gershon Kosh. Watch up. Gershon. You have a normal voice, Gershon? Yeah. Oh, thank me. God. God. Yeah, it's, it's good old How Gershon. did you get hired here? Oh, you know, I just um, supplied. Yeah, that's just how I apply. Oh, what was the <laughs> order in which you guys walked in? I'll go first. It was first. Jack first. It was me in the middle. Oh, it was Ethan. Ethan at the end. And then Toro. And then Toro. Yeah. That's the order. We're in the middle. Jack was first. I feel like Jack <laughs> said he was going in first. You notice that while he's talking to Ethan, he's like, kind of like, trying to avoid eye contact. With me? Yes. Dude, he's I fucking call, racist. I call, I say... Vibe check? It, inside vibe? <laughs> inside huh? vibe check? You want Both to do, of us. You want to know why? Shuri or Gargan? Uh, Gershon. 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 Uh, so Gershon's avoiding eye contact with me. Yes. I want a vibe check. Name my Twitter check. follower. Okay, anyways, yeah. I want a vibe check. Like, insight check. Insight check. Yes, like, insight check. We really need to decide. What, what is it going to be, boys? Vibe check is like, is it throwing a thing or is it insight check? I don't want to Vibe check yet. is my word for insight check because I feel like it's a very good, it's a very good replacement. Okay, fine. Let's 23. Do it. 23. But informal vibe Can check I is hitting somebody It seems with a like... Everything was fine with him from what you can gather when you when everyone was initially walking in. But when you walked in, he kind of like, it's like fear almost of you in oh, particular. Well, he does is it pitch black eyes. eyes? This dumb bitch. Um, so he says he's oh, afraid so of me. I go, Gershon, <laughs> are you, do I make you nervous? Jack's so weird, like, no, I why would I be nervous? Him, Not nervous Gershon, at all. Gershon, you can be honest can with me. Is it my too. eyes? You can change his eye color. Whoa. 
right? I'm but not from like the Watchtower. Completely version. black. I don't care about Watchtower. I know. Well, you're not. You're not gonna shoot me with lightning. I n- no. He could if he wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> I. He could blow this whole place up. I know he can. <laughs> But I'll choose but not to, Gershon. not to, because you offer us such low prices yeah, at Gershon great discounted Yeah, Gershon has a little rates. problem up top, if that makes sense, you know. I feel like that's a trend for this store, sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. Any- <laughs> you see, Gershon has a little... And then he like kind of like leans in real close to you and he whispers, Gershon has a little problem where he thinks... You know, every third person who walks into a store is uh, out to kill him. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> That's way weirder than what I was thinking. He mm. will fuck you up. So, if we we rewalk into the store in a different No, no, you're order, forever marked now. I'm forever marked and he thinks I want to kill him. Yes. Gershon, I'm not going to kill you until you give me a reason to. <laughs> Okay, sure. So don't fuck up and we'll okay, be good. I will try my best not to. Who you really need to worry about is Charge Toro. him double. Mm-hmm. Charge <laughs> me nothing. Charge me half or I'll fuck you up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are we going to purchase goods or stand yeah. here heckling Let's purchase this some goods. Purchase some shit. Come on. All right. I want uh, Toro fire weaver will glee. purchase his own stuff. Fire like. weaver gloves. Okay. For 250 that was... Gold. Uh, no, yeah, 900, or how much was it? 250 gold. Oh, that's right. Sorry, I was thinking of something Fuck. else. That was something else. Yeah, you're right. And the Ring of Warmth, Okay. which is 150. Go ahead. The uh, Ring of Roses. So this math all checks out, right? Yeah. Okay, right now it's uh, uh, 400, 425 pieces of gold, and I have like a shit ton of platinum that I haven't okay. spent. So yeah, you can go to them. There is one thing I might want to check up on the end. Okay. But... All right, so you go ahead and buy all these different things. What about you? I would like um, two restorative ointments, please. Two? Okay. Yes, I've decided. Well, you get two. Hold on. They had five charges each. I'll take one. I'll take okay. one. I, I read somewhere it was two two charges each. That's why it's, one, it's five, two. yeah. Okay. I want one. Okay, you get one. And that's 150, right? Mm-hmm. Come back to me. Let Jory go. Okay. Jory, what are you buying? I'm trying to find the list on my phone. I thought I would load. Also, while all this is happening, you do see, like, Joyce, the uh, the ship, like, designer and, like, uh, ship weapons, like, outfitter, uh, oh sort God. of, like, walk upstairs, uh, sort of wave at all of you. And it's like, well, if any of you uh, want any weapons, you know, just come on up. I have some new stuff. And kind of, that's it. I know what else I want. Can I buy another thing? Yeah. Can I get a cloak of billowing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, I looked at that, but I'm just like, why the fuck? <laughs> That's exactly Some of these items were literally put on there because I'm like, Jeff is going to buy this. Like, I already know he's going to buy it. Might as well. I mean, I specifically asked for the Ring of Roses, so. Yeah. Which is like kind of, you know, nothing. Anything else you want to buy, Jory? There's... I don't think so. Okay. I don't think okay, so. Okay, I want to look for the... Shit, what's it called? Hang on. Sorry. I'm trying to find what it was called. It's um, the Robe of Useful Items. Mm-hmm. How much was that again? Let me see. Uh, look. Robe, it's 450 pieces of gold. Yeah. So, when I look at this, how many patches does it have on it? That's the full amount. The full amount? Yeah. Well, like, it's like a 40, 44 amount, mm-hmm. and then you choose the types of patches. Yeah. Right? Has, okay, so you 16 plus 1. Awesome. Well, and then the 18 yeah. from the original. Oh, okay, shit. Oh. It, it's, like, full. Oh, it's full? Oh, shit. Do you already have, like, it rolled up what patches it has? No, I'll just randomly do it. All right. As they come. I want to buy one of those. Okay. I don't need to, like, wear it. I can just, like, have it with me, right? Yeah, I guess so. Like, I could have it in, like, my backpack. Does it like, require attunement? I'll check. But I want to buy it either way for... 450, 45 platinum. Okay. Awesome. Thanks. You want to buy something? I... No. Oh. I, I do not. I'm going to save my money this time. 100... Well, pl- I, I only have 90... Or... 
I only have like 90 platinum, so I'm holding on to that shit. Okay. Let's see. I'm making an investment, boys, in the robe of useful items. Because if I get lucky, I can make money. <laughs> just like you see Jack walk outside and just start tearing off patches. Like, ah! <laughs> it's just like looking at it's just like looking all over. Just like I read about this. Where where I'm like looking for like What's a specific patch. <laughs> okay. Uh no attunement, right? Um because if not, then I guess no. you can just pull, pull patches off if you want. Like, it's not a big deal. Well, I don't want to start pulling patches off. I'm no, like... but like, even when you're not wearing it, yeah. Oh, yeah, it doesn't say... It's like green, but it doesn't say it requires a two-mint. Okay. Also, I just got to say, amulet of proof against detection and location. Like, somebody just was like, fuck it, I'm not coming up with a cool name. Like, <laughs> yeah, really? like, what? yeah, it's fucking Friday, it's 4.55, very... I'm going fucking home. You're <laughs> at Wizards of the Coast. Yeah. <laughs> like, Wait, I'm, I'm going to you... this shit. Fucking... So, like, shift weave, I can, like, take certain pairs of clothes and, like, put it into my shift weave. <laughs> would you count this as putting into there? Like, would you let me put it into my shift weave? Make an intelligence check or an arcana check. Arcana check, yeah. Well, please be cool. 10. Okay. Even from a 10, you think that's not a good idea. Not a good idea? Yeah. Oh. Okay. You feel like something bad could possibly happen if that Damn it. happen. Damn. I probably shouldn't do this. I'll ask Joe. <laughs> okay. There you go. What patches are on it? Um, it's random. It's uh, it's randomly decided as you pull them off. No, but like they have like a set. It has like a it set. It has like decide. two of like the ones it says, and then mm-hmm. the other ones it says like basically you can roll as you pull them off. No, it says you rolled them. I yeah, I rolled them. Yeah. Oh, okay. As you go, like as you pull them off, oh. you roll, and we'll see what happens. Uh, hang on. Okay, so like, oh. I thought it had like the set amount of patches on it. You know, but, like I just 17. don't know what it. Yeah, you don't know are. what they are. Okay. Yeah. Fuck it. I want to try one. Wanna... You're gonna pull one right now. Yeah, I'm gonna pull one right now. All right. Let me get the description pulled up. So. Please between. What was it? Okay. So basically, in the middle of the store, Jack pulls out a patch and he holds it up. And then it starts to grow bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until a rowboat forms in the middle God of the it. store. I like And now there's this. a 12 feet long rowboat just sitting in the middle of the store. And Suri looks at it. Well, Jack, you really fucked things up this time. What the fuck am I going to do with a rowboat in the middle of my store? Sell it. I will buy. I mean, I will sell it to you. I don't want a fucking rowboat. What am I going to do with this? You can sell it. Say it's magical. It is magical because it came out of a patch. Jack, that's full of bullshit, man. It, you saw it yourself. That was magic, I'm not Shuri. selling your fucking robot. Get this shit out of my store. My God. It's a centerpiece. Also, I thought you were leaving on an adventure. I am leaving on an adventure, but I don't want fucking bullshit all over my store like a robot. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Why don't you just open it up outside the fucking store? What the fuck is wrong with you? My God, don't talk to me, Jack. Actually, talk to me anyways, but it's fine. But, you know. I want to try another one. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to go outside the store and say, fine, Shuri. I'll go outside your store. I want to walk up to Toro. No. And I'll tell him, hey, Toro, how's the store for you? Hold on. What's the number? Oh, you get four potions of healing. Fuck yes. Okay, that's helpful. All right, boys. Jack, this time you pull out the patch and then suddenly in your hands, there are four potions of healing. Fuck yeah, baby. Okay. Good job. All right. I will get those. Like, what it, um, Is everyone done with their shopping? Yes. Hey, Jeff, are you done? Yeah. Yes. Oh, cool. Hang on. All right. I, I feel... Mean, yes. Are you done? I mean, I don't think there's anything. Y'all spending all your money. How much is a returning dagger? Returning says, dagger? Yeah. Um. So for... Th- that what for the mm, it's gotta be at least a thousand gold. <laughs> Fuck man. Sorry, no. I would say nine hundred and fifty. <laughs> Fuck man. I'd rather get a wand of the war mage. Funny story in my other campaign, I told my wizard that she got a wand of the war mage, but she like wrote down in her item description wand of the warm 
age. And so I was looking at it. I'm just like, what the? That's fuck? a good name for Alex. a wand, though. The yeah, war, like you're just like it's glo- the you, warm. You wave age. it around and global oh, warming shit. begins. <laughs> <laughs> just climate change. Let's go. Climate change is happening. Hey. But yeah, I'm done. Okay, cool. Sales so, off the rails. A uh, scientific podcast for the modern era. Uh, no one wants to upgrade the ship. Okay, we're good. Oh Sorry. shit! Uh, I'm just curious. I, well, I'm just okay. saying. I, I'm imagining Tora would want to though. I yeah. think that's a Toro decision. Toro, yeah. what do you think? Um, well, I mean, it's it's okay if we upgrade oh, the ship, Toro, but we don't really need to. Your changed so much. I know. It's kind of all over the place today. Oh, my God. I know. In any case, um, I don't know, Captain. It's kind of up to you. Captain. Well, fuck. Because um, that's what Chris always says. Captain, what should we do? Captain. 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 <laughs> right, let me add Toro. healing potions into my yeah. inventory, and then I'll... They're like well, they're like common ones. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. I figured that. All right, I have full healing potions, guys. I won't go down. How much gold does Toro have? He's already spent it on items. Like he already like. That bitch ass. He basically messaged me with what he wants to buy. And like, so how much he spent to get a new cannon? It's nine hundred can- gold. Nine hundred gold. How much gold you got on you, Jory? Or platinum? I don't have any gold on me. I mean, I want a five check. I have in. ninety platinum. I have 90 you have platinum. ninety platinum. I have ninety platinum. That's it. That's enough for a cannon, Jory. But uh, do we really need? Do we really need a cannon? You see, if we each take thirty platinum from ourselves, we can get a cannon for the ship. Wait, 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 wait. There are four of us, and we need. I don't know how much money. Hundred twenty. Yeah, I don't Let's know how put much. A pin in that one. But, uh, how much for a cannon? He could put Toro can pay us back when he's feeling better. Oh yeah, I'm sure he would let yeah, us. Yeah, I'm just like all over the place today. I, I really can't. <laughs> I oh, can't yeah. even think about money right now. Hey, uh, Joy, how about you check Ethan's pockets and see how much money he has? Can I, Ethan, how much money do you have? Check oh his, well, check I his don't... character sheet. I have 140 platinum. Shit. Okay. I'm Ethan Oigen. Ethan's paying for the cannon. <laughs> Ethan, you sound like shit too. Did you maybe catch it from me? Oh, I'm Ethan Oi again. Hello. Okay, yeah, he definitely caught it. All so right. What you're saying is Ethan's paying for the sh- cannon. <laughs> again, <laughs> again. We can't. We can't keep doing this to each other. We can't. We really can't. <laughs> like every arc, it's literally just like. <laughs> Who has the money? Because <laughs> I have money, but I I need to save money. That's why I didn't want to. Save I need to save money too. We should buy a cannon. I want to put my fire weaver gloves on, and like immediately as I get them, okay. start playing with the like start like playing with like fire. fire. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. just like making like little shapes out of. All them. right, so are you guys done with the store? Or are you do you want to buy a cannon? Do you want to buy anything else? I think we're gonna I'm put ca- a pin in ca- the cannon thing. Yeah, because okay. I was like waiting for Jeff to come back. Because we could buy if we split our money, but... We could just split our money. How much is it if we split our money? 30 each? 30 each. 120? 30 platinum. 120. No, 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 it's 90 for the cannon. But, like, without Toro. Oh, so <laughs> Toro's not paying. And then Toro can pay us back when he feels better. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah, I literally just don't know how much money he's spending, so I can't really say for sure. What yeah. Not. Yeah. And then Toro can pay for everything after this. So 30 each, you guys buy a cannon? Yeah. All right. So well, uh, I guess I guess Ethan agrees. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Joyce is like, okay. Um. Yeah. Can, Sorry, I can, Joy. <clears throat> I can I can do it's that. All good. Sure. Uh Yeah. Like a lot of people are buying these recently. Yeah. Get it on that ship right away. We're leaving. Oh my God! Not again. <laughs> right away. And then she starts running off, uh, like last time to start installing your cannon on. Uh, you guys head to port. Yes, and we do. You get to your ship. Um, you see the crew is getting ready, like quite short notice to leave immediately. Shippy, my boy, where are you? Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Hey, hey, it's me, Shippy. Uh, hey. Hello there, Shippy. Hi. Awesome. Oh, this guy here wants to talk to you. And, uh, you see like a official, like, seems to be like a, a judge of some sort. Um, a and judge. he's like, he's in a fine suit and he's like writing in a paper. Hello, are you the uh, captain of this ship? Who's asking? Oh, just a uh, lawyer here on saloon. God damn it. 
just need to ask you a quick question. Your lawyer for what? Oh, I'm a prosecuting a law attorney on a case that's um, becoming a little popular here. I just want to ask you a quick question. You rescued three people on your journey back here about a week ago. Is that correct? Why? It's for the case. I'm just establishing. What case? It's against the three people you saved. Mm, who were those three people? Just three random sailors who got attacked by pirates, is all. Who's prosecuting them? Me. Why? They broke the law. What law? Can we just hear? What law? How about I give Am you Am I required bit? to testify before a court? Most likely not if you can just give me the information I want. Also, you're a prosecutor. You're not an investigator. Why are you out here? Look, just answer the, case, the questions, okay? What questions? First off, did you rescue these three people? It's evident that you have. Just say yes. Are you a prosecutor coercing me to answer a question? You know, I could just ask the officials to, I don't know, keep you in port for a few days while we go through all so these So now questions. you're threatening me after you attempted to coerce me and I did not comply. You know what? Sure. I am. What does the law say to prosecutors coercing witnesses? Or Well, it doesn't look kindly upon those who would protect the, uh, criminals like this. Let's say that much. I'm not protecting anyone. I'm well, simply it asking seem questions. Like that to me. Well, are you a court that or a judge that's going to decide? He turns over to Jory. So, did you rescue three people recently? Mm, three? No. We've rescued a lot of people. They were on a little ship, a little rowboat. Mm. Within the past Small's week. relative. Oh. Rowboat, rowboat, rowboat. I don't know. I don't think that. I don't think we did. No. Looks at Shippy. Did you? Uh, he didn't rescue anybody. Ah. Uh, oh, I really can't. Ooh. We rescued <sighs> Shippy. That's what we uh, rescued. Yeah, Isn't that right, did. Shippy? Oh we my god. We rescued Shippy uh, from what child a labor. Man. One of you make a persuasion. Both of you make a persuasion check, or one make a persuasion check. Uh, I'll do it with advantage. Yeah. 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 Wait. Okay. Did you just roll? Damn it. I Mason. rolled. Okay. Well, you can roll without advantage. <laughs> oh no! I got a good roll though. Okay. That's this good. is good. This isn't a bad thing. This is not a bad. I got a nineteen. Thing. Okay. I'm looking at my persuasion. Hold up. I got an 18. So well, I got a 19. 19. Oh, yeah. We, we didn't rescue anybody. <laughs> we rescued Shippy that's, from child that's labor That's who loss. we really rescued. We Is also it, rescued some slugs, didn't we? We rescued, yes, we rescued Doug, Vita. Doug the slug. Doug the slug. Doug, everyone Doug, give it. Doug, give Doug, a hand Doug, to Doug. You want to meet Doug? Everyone, you Doug, Doug, Doug. Doug. Give a hand, give Doug a hand, everyone. Well, Woo! it's evident that this is not going anywhere. And then we, we're going to make a little tunnel for Doug to kind of come out. I guess I'll just tell the judge what you all told me. Go right. Doug. What, that we don't know go what you're Doug. talking about because you can't go, answer our questions? Go, go Doug. <laughs> sure. Uh, uh, go well, Doug. are you a notary by chance? Uh, Expect a subpoena. Go, and are you, wait, wait, are you a notary? starts to walk away. This is going to be fun. Jack's out here like, I know my rights. I know, <laughs> I know my rights. You I'm think you can't get this in? I, I'm filming you. I'm traveling. You. I'm not driving. I'm filming you. This will be all over r slash videos, okay? <laughs> Scroll slash bad com. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there's any like magic or shit I could have used against him. He's just like, expect this to be in I'm just like. Okay, so you all get onto your ship. Uh, Vita's chilling out. He's like, hello. Um, are you guys ready? Oh, while you were at the thing, Taha gave you the bracelet of astral navigation. He gave you the location of Ravensman. You have that. I have also, the location. Can I be wearing my like, ring of roses and ring of warmth? Yeah. And my ring fire weaver gloves? Warm yeah, roses. You can wear them. Nice. Just wear, yeah, you're just wearing your rings underneath your glove. Awesome. What if I wear it above it? Like on the glove? I don't know if that would Actually, no, 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 that's fine. I don't think that would work. Yeah, no. Nah. Probably fine. Yeah. Who cares? Okay, so you guys take off, I'm assuming? Yeah. Right? Yes. Take off. Yeah, let's go. All right. Now, how much time will this trip take? It takes 2d4. So, let us see. Am I rolling the d4? No, I am. Am I? You can roll one. Roll one of them. I'll, I'll roll, roll one of them because I have a very good d4 here. 
I got a three. Oh, I got a four. That's Ooh. seven days of travel. Dude, we want lower. You do want lower. Okay, but <laughs> I'll fuck? say this much though. So for like, just because last time it was a four day trip, I didn't care. Uh, it's only one more than three. But from now on, like whenever we have longer p- periods of travel, most of the time I'll keep it to three days and three nights. And then we'll just like sort of place one at the beginning ish, one in the middle and one at the end. Okay. Yeah. So we don't like die of like seven days of travel and doing nothing. <laughs> and like feel like it's boring. It's just yeah, like... it's fucking terrifying, right? <laughs> um, so we won't do that. Don't worry. Um, if we go, if it's like a super long trip, like a month or some shit, then we'll probably do like four or five. But um, so yeah. So you start beginning your seven day journey. Uh, first day, we'll say this is like the second day ish. Uh, what do you guys want to do? I want to start a sea shanty. Ooh, are you make making a, like an acapella group here? <laughs> make a performance check. Ooh, that's looking good. <laughs> and I know which one I want to want to sing. Which one? If this goes well, wait. No, I want to ask. Show you. I want to ask Abel how it sounds. Well, it's a, it's like a 15 plus whatever my performance modifier is. It's Can probably going to be successful. Someone's got to sing this, and I don't want it. it I will. Okay. It's a 19. Yes. Sing it. What? Which one is it? It may be on the YouTube. <laughs> like It may be on like a free music, so I don't know. We may okay. be able to put it on. It's Leave Her Johnny Lever from Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Never mind. That's when's... definitely not free for sure. That's like, oh, that's no, like that's that's six like, copyright strikes that's in like a row. That's like $30 a second. Yeah. Right that's there. That's terrifying. <laughs> Never mind. What if I sing it, though? You can sing it. Oh, yeah, that's fine. And we have to sing it together. Come here, Mason. I don't know this song. No, come here. I don't need <laughs> it. Like, what are you doing? No. Why do I have to come over there? What is this? What I heard the old man say, leave her, <laughs> Johnny, <laughs> leave doing? her. What are you? Uh, tomorrow you What's happening? Get what is actually happening? What is actually happening? Is someone okay? Is it, it, <laughs> are they sick? Wait, are they I got sick? IP. Wait, I got an IP. Did I not? Yeah, no, it's it's in in a world, it's fine. In real life, we're like, what the fuck is happening? Beaver John. Oh, the, who's Beaver. that beautiful singer oh, in the crowd? Beaver, oh my god, I'm so jealous. Beaver. Who who oh, wow. who is that melodic beautiful oh, voice god. belongs so to? Beautiful. Oh my it's god. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Beaver. I'm already seeing Seeing like the listener charts just like <laughs> plummeting, like we, How everyone's like, oh man, this podcast is oh kind of cool. God. We had to Either listen to Johnny this. Leaver. Jesus Christ! Ah, oh, fuck! I can't believe they actually let this joke go on for this long. Ah, oh, shit! This is kind of Leaver, wow. There, there's a thing called comedic timing. Oh, they really don't Johnny have Leaver. silence as like a they really spell don't know how to do that, huh? Wow. This is wow. Oh god. Oh my god. I can't make it stop. Wow, it's really <laughs> guys, it's really long. Yeah, please stop. Okay. That, that's yeah. what Jack hey, does. Can we just like I, as a crew I say the course? The like No. No. <laughs> like no. No. <laughs> guys. We're missing Jeff. We can't. Jeff, hurry the fuck up. No. Okay. He's so talking to what his are you mom. gonna do on your first day? Nothing? I'm gonna Join? sing a sea shanty. Right? <laughs> God no! <laughs> Fuck you! You might have heard of it. It's called. It's from Assassin's Creed. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell! All right. No, I'm not actually gonna sing it. Okay, again. good. Anything you want to do, or you get, you're done. I actually want to sing a different sea shanty. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! No, you won't. Guys, this no. is. I'm trying. To, I was trying to raise like the morale of the crew. Uh, Hello everyone, Abel here. Thank you all so much for listening to the first episode of our new arc, which is being called Lemon Pepper Lodge. Uh, sorry if my voice right now sounds a little trash. Uh, it's because I'm using uh, my microphone on my laptop because I'm traveling in holidays. So, sorry about that. Uh, in any case, I hope you guys enjoy our newest arc and... I think it's going to be a real good one. We've had some fun with the episodes we've recorded so far. Uh, so, you know, if you've ever had a friend who was kind of a little 
on edge about listening to us, uh, or maybe they listened to like one of our old arcs and maybe they didn't find it uh, good enough because of our terrible audio quality back then. Maybe tell them to uh, listen to this one. Sort of pick up on this. It's going to be a fun arc, I think, and uh, I hope you all enjoy it. In any case, uh, friendly reminder to follow us on Twitter at SalesOffRails or email us if you'd like to name a character. We got a few characters this episode, such as Josephine, Taha, and new one, Gershom, uh, who were named by Twitter followers or just other listeners of the show. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the podcast, please share it with your friends, parents, siblings, uh, mailmen, whoever. As always, possibilities are endless. We, it really helps us out, and we appreciate it. You can always find us on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, uh, really wherever podcasts can be found. Now, for all the music we use this episode. Blow the Man Down by the Midshipmen Glee Club. Hope by Steve Combs. Steppin' by Wake. Barbarian by Pierlo. Movie Rhythm 2 by Sun Searcher. Tripolar by Jeremy Corpus. Back to the Woods by Jason Shaw. Hey Sailor by Leatherbox. Pulse by George Ellenis and DJ Arcod. If you guys have any questions, concerns, suggestions, whatever it may be, feel free to email us at salesofftherails at gmail.com, or you can check out our website, salesofftherails.podbean.com, where we'll usually put up handouts and other random stuff uh, that relates to the current arc. I think if you want to see the map that we are doing for this newest arc, you can check it out at the website. Probably have a link or something to view it. Thank you all so much for listening. Enjoy the rest of the episode, and have a nice day. No, I have a different. I have a, okay, so we're okay. gonna continue the stories of uh, Shippy's internship opportunities. Oh my god! So Shit. this time he's shadowing a Jory for a day. Oh no! So I isn't th- it technically Jory shadowing Shippy because Shippy no, kind of sh- knows more about flying ships? No, no, no. Than Jory. Gonna, no this Jory's, isn't flying Jory's ships. outpaced Shippy. So I, it's like two a.m. and I, I just wake coffee. him up and we're going. We're gonna go to the kitchen. Shippy, come on, let's yeah. go. Like Shippy, come on, wake up. We're going. We <gasps> no. to start your first no, day God. of the internship. <laughs> Please, fuck no. Oh, oh. okay. Toro was bad. Jack is terrible. Day. But Jory? We're going to be cooking s- some eggs. Oh, we're just cooking. Leave oh. her, shippy. Leave her. Okay. <laughs> okay. We okay, start. Yeah, eggs? I'm breaking out the eggs. I say, go, shippy. Smash all the eggs. We need them. Go. Smash them? Go. What? Put them in the bowl. Go. Oh, Shippy. Oh, okay. Come on, go. And I turn Shippy on the, all the all all the the stoves and everything. I'm like, go, Shippy. We need pans. Go, go, go. And just throwing pans. All right, I'm rolling. In a, I, he got an 11. You hear Shippy just screaming from the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please, no. Uh, listen to that young man getting the experience of his life. He's really pulling himself up by his bootstraps out there. Thanks, Mason. Okay. So I leave Shippy with all of these. I say, okay, Shippy, you got this. I'll, I'll see you on the other side. Wait, you're leaving? What yes, the Yes, you have breakfast for the morning. No! You can do the rest of it. I believe in you. It's been a great experience. I gotta go. Okay, and Shippy will roll a performance. And I'm gonna go to sleep. That's and a... he, he has to just serve all the food for the day. He gets a 14. It's okay. Like How's his mental food. health? Oh, can we get a mental health yeah, check? Yeah, vibe check. <laughs> vibe yeah, check. Yeah, do an insight check, yeah. Insight checks. There's so many better 18. names. Yeah, you can tell um, this man is losing it. There's so many He's better what? names. He's losing it. Better Slowly names for insight checks. You have mental want... health checks. You have vibe checks. You have... <laughs> uh, on like my next day, I want to give Shippy the day off. You, you see he is like, oh... Yeah, that sounds great. Shippy's Looks day up off. at like the stars and the empty void of space. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know, just gonna have a real old fun day off here out in the middle of nowhere. Woohoo! What do you like to do in your pastime, Shippy? You know, 
Uh, anything but this, that's for sure. What? I thought you loved ships. Oh, I used to. <laughs> oh, I used to. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. But that's not true anymore. <laughs> why not, Shippy? You can oh, be honest with us. Oh, I wonder why. But if you anger us, we'll probably, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy this day off. I'm going to go read a book. Oh, nice. What book? None of your business. And he walks off. Okay. Uh, that night, let's do our three... Um, oh, fuck. Jeff is not here. It's fine. I'll do his. Toro, Toro can do, do it. it. Toro will do it. That's Toro cool. can do it. Okay, go ahead. Will you pull up his sheet so I can know what... Oh, my God. Yeah, I got it. This is for Jack, 21. Okay. Um, Actually, wait. That's harder. My perception is a six. 23. Uh, you spend the night up. You're chilling out. Um... Nothing really happens near the nice. end of the night when you go back to your room to uh, wake up the next person for their check uh, for their watch. Um, you see Jiggles is sort of like staring out a window. Oh, hey, Jiggles. Out. How are you doing? It's been a lot of fun, huh? What do you mean by that, Jiggles? Are you okay? He uh, turns to look at you and see like half of his body is consumed in flame and it's starting to like spread across his like body you're fine with fire though aren't you yeah yeah you know and you see like his arm is just disappearing slowly wait a minute jiggles jiggles no jiggles it's been stop. a lot of fun i'm gonna like try and put him out uh sure make a medicine check <laughs> it's gonna be some like avengers 16 <laughs> uh mr, mr. dawson it, his, i don't feel so his good. body is literally just Stark. disappearing Jiggles, Jill, stop. I'm going to use like my fire weaver gloves and I'm going to like take the fire off. I'm just going to like. As you attempt to do off. that, the, the flame is like coming off, but it's just creating more as his like body slowly disappears. Jiggles, what's happening to you? I don't know, but we've had some fun times. What do you mean you don't know? We killed some hags. We killed blister yeah. coils. Jiggles. So much cool stuff. You're going to huh? be okay. We had the Real time cool of our life lives. For an imp. You were a good friend, Jiggles. Good. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. Well, oh. uh, if you ever go to hell, I guess I'll see you there. I'll probably be there. I'll see you in hell, buddy. Goodbye. And then uh, you see, like, the rest of his face is slowly consumed in Jiggles, no! as, And, like, all that's left is his arm as it does, like, a. Thumbs up and slowly, personally. <laughs> Jiggles. <laughs> Jiggles. <laughs> Toro, it's your turn to take watch. Jiggles. Yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? I'm Toro. Yeah, I'm Toro. I'm, uh, I'm going to go do yeah, watch yeah, now. Yeah, I'm on it. Yeah, roll I'm for Toro. me, bro. <laughs> roll for me over there, buddy. Come on. Uh, let, yeah, let's get this. Me, yeah, Jack's going to insight check to see why the fuck. Or investigation to see why the fuck Jiggles just make like, a like ar- he's I'm make gonna an say, arcana oh okay or he's gonna investigation, investigation check I'm gonna do investigation I mean I have zero in both so nineteen <laughs> dude Jiggles just fucking died Jiggles oh no Jiggles died dude you missed the it was don't fucking you, emotional don't you fucking talk bad about Jiggles so um from what you can gather. It seems like whatever magic held Jiggles to this plane uh, seems to have, like, decayed over time and probably disappeared, which led to him, like, leaving. Jack's going to go to sleep and just say, Ellie, 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 Ellie. Make a persuasion As as he, like, falls asleep. 17. I had to do math. No, sorry, 18. Ellie. Ellie, 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 Ellie. Is Ellie hot? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> hey, guys. Your God is Ellie, hot. Yeah. Ellie, no, Ellie. No, she doesn't Ellie, respond. Ellie, Ellie. You go back Ellie, to sleep and Ellie, nothing really Ellie, happens to Ellie, you. Ellie, uh, Toro on his watch. What did he roll? Toro's. A nine. But he gets advantage because of his shield. Oh, yeah, that's right. Fifteen. Plus whatever. Mm, nothing happens. <laughs> Who's last watch? I'll take it. 
Oh, so Jeff, take 30 platinum out of your 15, money. 15, 15, 15. Why? <laughs> we kind of sprinted to buy a cannon, but Goodbye. everybody's... Oh, you might want to update that you have a cannon now. Replace one of your um, weapons with a cannon. Yeah. Oh, and however, whatever weapon you replace, I'll tell you how much money you get back. Oh, shit, guys. We might... Yeah, we all spent 30 platinum to buy a cannon. Okay. And you were taking a little bit, so we decided to spend it for you. That's okay. That's okay. Um, what, you, you got a 15? You see a ship in the distance. Uh, it seems to have been attacked recently. Um, and you see that there are crates and like various like goods. It seems like a merchant ship, probably. Uh, whoever was managing the ship is probably dead because there's no air bubble around it. So all the goods have started floating off of it and are like just kind of floating in space. So you do see that in the in like it's really close to your ship. What do you do? Ooh. Supplies, everyone, wake up and I ring a little bell. You, when Jory did you turn into like a Russian gnome? <laughs> 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 you didn't know this was. All right, we're gonna Jory sell our Babushka. ballista because we can only have three weapons, right? Yeah. All right. Which gonna... one? The medium one. Oh shit! There's a medium one. Can we get rid of the small one? Yeah, you can. Okay. But if that was in a light. Oh. Medium spot. You have to put the cannon in a medium heavy spot. Okay, medium we'll put it. We'll get rid of the medium ballista because I feel like okay. we want the manga now. Okay. Everybody agree? Yeah. All right. So I you concur. get. You all get three hundred gold back. So. Uh, Wait a minute. That's the price that we paid for the cannon. Three hundred gold. Thirty platinum. Yeah, we each paid thirty platinum back. I mean, each of you paid thirty, but it's thirty like overall. I thought you said we each no, no, get no, three hundred no, no, gold. No, no, no. You no overall three hundred. Oh, okay. Shit. So we each get 10 platinum. 100. Back. Yeah. So everyone gets 100 gold back except for Toro. Um, Lazy bitch. So you wake up everyone. Everyone, you hear Jory waking you up in will the middle you, of the night. Will you tell me the stats for that later? Yeah. It's 5d10 what, damage. What's, what's happening? Like the AC and stuff? Or? Oh, you don't need to worry about that shit. Awesome. We got rid of that garbage system. Awesome. We're awesome. good then. Okay. It's awesome. So you all wake up, uh, everyone. And what, what what's happened? What's happening, Chief? I I say, there are some there's supplies in the water. We need to get them. Space. <laughs> the water. water. There's the supplies in space. Everyone, get your harpoons. We're gonna we're gonna get the supplies in. I call dibs on something that if it's really good, like really good. So you guys start dragging the. I call on. dibs on all of the. Food. So basically, we you should search like, for survivors. We Jack like makes a point like. So uh, definitely. Like initially, looking around, you don't see anyone like alive. It, well, this is what you would know. Basically, if the helm isn't active, like the air bubble starts to disappear, and this helm is not active. Oh shit! Yeah, everybody's fucked. Well, what if they have the? What if they have balls shoved down their throat? Yeah, those things. You can make a perception check. Jack will do that. He'll be looking for some tin. Never mind. He doesn't. Fuck. You don't see anything. <laughs> you just see all the supplies. Uh, so basically, you guys can move the ship near them, and you can I mean, put them on board important. if you want to. Do you guys yeah, do that? That's yeah. what I want to do. I'm going to get it. Okay. So you guys collect about 10 or so crates of random goods. Awesome. Anything of particular interest amongst these goods? Yeah. Make a. So you go. So what, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? I'm looking around and I'm searching through the goods to see if there's anything like a particular value or mag of magical nature. Okay, make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Man, what the fuck? Oh shit, 18. Okay. I love this die. <laughs> it's been nice um, tonight. As you're like opening up one of the boxes. Unless this fails. You hear a little, yeah, as like the box like, <laughs> like slams open <gasps> and like a naked woman like with like just like sort of holds out a big bone and Ooh. like starts to like tries to hit you I in the head. It. You move out of the way and you're not surprised because you got a high wisdom saving throw. But everyone I like how I'm not surprised that a naked woman jumped out of a crate and attacked me. That's why you have a high wisdom saving throw. I've seen okay. shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she barely misses you and everyone roll initiative as this creature's huge wings unfurl from her back and she starts to flap them and starts to rise into the air. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Just... Stop that. <laughs> That's so effective. <laughs> Try and use... Wait, why is there three of them? Get out of here. Popped out in front of you. 
Is she naked? Wait a minute. I thought that there was one. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. she naked. Are they hot or are they like no. ugly and naked? Like not even no. Oh no. Not even like. Do they have like really thick eyebrows? Because like that's a pretty big thing for me. Like, like if a girl has like really thick, like nice looking eyebrows, like I got, I got. Okay, cool, cool. Cause like that's like a big deal for me, Abel. Like, eyebrows are important. Yeah, like you're an we, eyebrow man. Yeah, I'm a like. Like more Are you an, an actual like, eyebrow? No, I'm like more of an eyebrow man than I am like an actual eyebrow. Drink some water. Man. Drink some like, water. <laughs> Are you an actual eyebrow right now, bro? Hey, eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like Maisie Williams's eyebrows and like Cara Delevingne's eyebrows. Like, guys, those are some nice eyebrows. Good to know. Like, Good I'm not, know. I'm not, be, I'm not joking right now. Like, <laughs> no, I respect that. I respect that. I don't. All right. <laughs> Why not? Dude. Because he's talking about it on the podcast. <laughs> well, we're cutting all this setup part out, yeah, right? Yeah, no. yeah, we are. Well, um, just, just keeping the eyebrow part. That's what I was thinking. But I was also <laughs> like, I don't know about that anymore. Keep it as like a blooper. Rip. I'm not like saying it in like I feel a like bad we're way, saying a I bunch thought. of shit. And like in the future, Abel's going to like whip out all these audio recordings of us saying like. It's just like, it's like, like a, a, it's like like a oh, 10 day audio recording. My old friend Abel. And then he breaks out a soundboard. He's like. Embarrassing soundbite number one. Are you an <laughs> eye? Are you an eyebrow? <laughs> the, I'm really into eyebrows, man. It's like I'm really into eyebrows, oh like more God. than like any other part of like a woman, you know? Wait, for real? No, I'm like, <laughs> I was like hold on. Uh, no, like Wait. I'm for real. Like, like eyebrows are more important oh, than shit, any other right? body part. <laughs> yeah, okay, I, I fuck. Wow. Up yeah, can't relate. I disagree. <laughs> I think. Like, I'm um, more of an eyebrow guy than, like, a butt or boob guy. I like, think asses are very important to me. <laughs> Joey I mean, was yeah. 20. What was Toro? Like, butts are know. nice and everything. No, what was Toro? Oh, he was 12. Loser. Loser, yeah. dude. I was 11. I know. <laughs> I, I lost the page I wrote it down on. Uh, uh, Jack, where were you again? 18? Yes. Okay. Oh, shit. Vito. Whole ass cup, B. Whole ass motherfucking cup. Bro. <laughs> Took that shit. Um, she Bitch. got a 14. Vita? So, yeah. Love Vita. We stand Vita. Who doesn't? Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the people Jory, who are like, first. let's cut do? Vita's share. I want to share. <laughs> shit. Uh, there's one right next to me, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to shoot it. Why is it going? It's like I know what. Those are the rooms, right? The things that kind of look yeah, like yeah. the tip of a dick. I'm going to shoot the one right next to me. <laughs> yeah. I'm shooting the one right next to me. <laughs> it looks really it really, like, like that's it really does look like a when dick. When I started laughing, over here, I was like, I hope you draw another one. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, uh, like, I was hoping to draw this out before, but then I forgot about it, and I was like, oh, well. That's good. Height is penis. Okay. And I got a twenty. I got a 21 to hit. 21 to hit? Yep. Okay, with that one over there. The one right next to me. Wait a minute. Why are all three right next to me? That's where all the crates were. There was one over there. What? Wait, I just realized that I'm the one that's next to all three. Wow. Um. All right, goodbye, guys. So that's an 11 damage. How do we get over there? 11 damage, okay. And then I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to take a minus five to the hit this time. Can you be attuned to only one item at a time? It's, huh? Can you be sorry? Six, what can you Sixteen. Be, to, wait. Can you be attuned to only one item at a time? No, you can have up to three. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah, sixteen to hit. Yeah. Is that hit? Yeah. Holy fuck. Oh fuck. You're gonna Shit. have to repeat that damage. Bitch. Six plus four plus ten. 20. 20 damage. Okay. That's 20 piercing damage to the one right next to me. That one? Okay. Yeah. In the ass. Ooh. Right in the ass. <laughs> and I in the lower half of their body. He wants okay. to shoot. So the one right next to you, you shoot twice? Yeah. The, okay. I can't remember how much the first one was, but I So you're shooting right, right in the ass both times? Yes. Okay, so <laughs> So I really didn't. I meant that as a joke. So I'm technical, really but um. So basically, what happens is Are they weak you there? you um you shoot 
at one cheek and it pierces and then you shoot at the other cheek and it pierces and you see this uh, creature in front of you scream out in pain <laughs> it's, uh, I mean that's what would happen if you got shot twice in the ass with arrows so uh, yes <laughs> does that conclude your turn I've made that same noise before. yeah it didn't die no so it has over like 40 points of HP wait 30 points how much damage did you do? So I dealt 21, and I dealt like a first damage, which was like eight or something, right? Yeah, what was the first one? I, I didn't write it down. Uh, because you, I was, didn't you didn't write it down? Wasn't I was still like calculating eight? all this shit. Eight? I think it was an eight? Okay, I think it was eight, from what I can so remember. So 21 plus eight, was that it? 21 was That's not it, but it hurts a lot. Like, it's looking really bad. Like I said, right, the cool. ass is like exploded. The asses are their weak point. <laughs> we found their weakness. <laughs> we found their weakness. I really meant that as a joke. I'm sorry that we have devolved into this. Wow, Jeff. This is what sorry. happens when Chris isn't here to ground us. Chris is truly the only factor that keeps us in. <laughs> Chris is like what keeps this podcast listenable. Like, Tame. actually, like, normal. Yeah. <laughs> also, the okay, little, um, little tip that, That's the... it for your turn? Uh, yes. Okay, Jack. So, like, the little tip I'm on, um, yeah. is that, like, a raised bit of the boat? That that happens yeah, to be that. All right, how much movement is it to get down? I'm just curious. um like ten. Ten. Okay, so there's like stairs or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um. I don't like this. So remember, we need a battle manager for yeah. moving everything. Yeah. I'm gonna considering that all of them are within a. 20 foot radius of me and yeah. like nobody else i'm gonna cast blink okay on myself mm -hmm. well that's the only thing i can cast blink on and that's a bonus action so what i'm gonna do is like i'm actually first gonna do my mantle of flame so i'm just gonna throw my arms out you and go, flame. okay and i'm gonna snap my fingers is that all you're doing your turn yeah because oh, that's right because blink is an action that's right. yeah yeah okay so roll uh two blink and damn it, I got a nine. So I'm just gonna. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> you tried. But um, I do have my mantle flame up. So. Yeah. Okay. So um, so all three of them sort of swarm at you. One. Hello, ladies. One begins oh, to fly higher up, <laughs> uh, and then it starts to. Uh, <laughs> anyways, one starts to sink. And it's actually a very beautiful melody. Oh no. So I want you to make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. And then, actually, everyone should make a wisdom saving throw. 18. Oh, Toro needs to make one as well. What, what was it? What's the DC? I, I got rolled? 18. I Toro got a nat 20 plus. Ooh, 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 ooh. What did you get? 15. Okay. So Toro got a 22 and I got an 18. Okay. Both of you succeed. Oh, yeah. I got a 19. Everyone just fucking, yeah. Okay. Sorry, ah, ladies. Fucking losers. You're, you Get know, off the fucking it, it's stage. It's a pretty nice song, but y'all are like, these hoes nasty. And you're so, just. <laughs> <laughs> and you're which not, one of us said these hoes nasty? <laughs> That's up to you. <laughs> I want V to die. You just said it. You just said it. Hang on. Man, these hoes nasty. <laughs> Big on thoughts. Go away! Sorry, ladies. I already have a special lady in my life. Um, and where is she, Jack? In almost disgust from hearing Jack. you say that, the other two immediately take out. It's Chris. No. Hey. So the other two immediately take out a uh, a club and start. No, together we have to make a ring. Take the other, take, take okay. The anyways, they take clubs and start smacking at Jack. Ah! <laughs> Yeah! Woo! Okay. Oh. Yeah! Wait, so they can sing and beat the shit out of me? No, no, no. One is singing, the other two are smacking you. Oh. So the first one. Smacking. That is. I feel like this is a deleted scene from Hustlers. 1 800 R, you smack him. 11. Wait, I don't think that hits. Yeah, that doesn't hit! Okay. <gasps> I finally did it! Get... Okay, so the first one swipes at you with a claw, and then its club also comes down, but you duck out of the oh. way. Huh. Next one. Twenty-two. So, I thought I had mad skills dodging hoes, but I was so wrong. So this one also swipes at you with a claw, and you're like feeling confident, so you move out of the way. But then you look up to see this club just bam down on your head. Oh, four damage. 
my feelings are hurt more than I am. Yeah. Um, oh, it also does damage to it, right? Yeah, they take uh, four damage and four fire damage. Okay. She's not. That's what the business majors call net zero. <laughs> <laughs> net loss. Is it real? It's that loss, yeah. Wow, why'd you gotta ruin it? Because that? she. Oh, wait. It was zero. Oh, you took four. Da- oh, it, it, yeah, it's, it's zero, yeah. I know, I know. Never mind. The law of equivalent Okay, I'm sorry. I'm okay. an entrepreneur. The law of equivalent exchange. <laughs> Never mind, he took six damage. Take it, take it, take it. Net profit, net profit. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, and then the harpy next to you, Jory, it's gonna fly right up to you and it's gonna swa- slap you. Right. Swap. Uh, I'm about to get no, swapped. No, don't swap. 18 to hit. Wait, I need... 18? I think it does. 18? Go away. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. Okay, so the second... The club misses, but the claws, like, stab into you, and you take... 8 damage. Alright, now it is Vita's turn. Vita's gonna be like... Fuck this shit. It's not getting uh, fucking job tonight. <laughs> he casts Dissonant Whispers on one of the harpies. Uh, unfortunately, it does stick to you. Oh, well. He tried. Um, and then she's gonna be like, well, never mind. And she's gonna uh, move back into the room and she's just chilling over there. Toro! Yeah. Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna whack. So what Tor is Someone move. <laughs> so someone move. Someone move what the fuck was Tor that? Gonna, he's gonna get up close and personal. And well, actually, let's see if I can do any of his weird fighter things. Mm. Most of his fighter things just involve smacking first. <laughs> yeah, but like I'm thinking about oh, hammering yeah, horns because he was. Um, I got you. Yeah. So what he's gonna do is he's going to. Attack with... Where's his axe? It just has, like, his hand axe on here. He has Riptide. Oh, yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, that's what it's called. He's gonna attack with Riptide. Okay. So... Which is a... Oh, shit. Okay. Uh... Math 11. 11? Yeah, he doesn't get, like, advantage or anything on that. Yeah, right? that hits. Oh, it does hit? Oh, yeah. shit. Okay. So in addition with that, he'll like do his hammering horns, but first I'll do damage, so that's a D8. 10 slashing damage. Nice. And then he's gonna do hammering horns with that because he hit a creature with a melee attack and mm-hmm. has an attack action. He uses his horns to try and shove the target. Strength check? Yeah, strength check at DC 15, or pushes it up to 10 feet away. So Doro just like, Goes up, brings Riptide up, just slashes it down, and then doom, and like yeets it off of the boat. Uh, ten feet, which that direction? Yes. Okay, so it, fl- it flies out that way, and then it's just flat. So someone move it out ten Th- feet. Does Jory get a uh, attack of opportunity? Or um, I guess. So. Yeah, I Stabbing. do. Stabbing. Yeah, Stabbing. yeah, I think it does. Yeah, Fuck that's right. Him. Even if it's pushed by uh. someone else, yeah, you would get an attack of opportunity. With your dagger, so. Dagger. Fucking go, go, go. Sunshine. Real Seven plus time. nine. Mm-hmm. Sixteen. Sixteen. It hits. Yeah, Bubby. This I like this jewelry. Yeah, Bubby. <laughs> yeah, Bubby. <laughs> That's his, like, hardened battle cry. Are you wearing your gorilla suit? Yeah, I am. The seven feel- damage. Um, so you stab, like, as Tor pushes it out of the way, you stab at it, at the harpy, and you feel it, like, pierce into its heart, and it's, like, Ugh! and it falls off dead, like, <laughs> off the ship. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. Okay, so that takes away your reaction, however. Um, <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, cool, cool, cool. I think, is that the end of Toro's turn? Yes. Ethan. Hello. Okay, so I'm on the other side of the fucking world. So mm-hmm. it's... Okay. If I, Ethan, help! <laughs> I'm so you, coming. So you can move... 
Yeah, it would take a. You could maybe make it if you. How much is your movement? My speed. I could move seventy if I dash. But just regular. Thirty-five. What? Like ten moves. Tiny but strong. <laughs> would I be able to hit one of them with a thunderbolt from here? Yes. Well, then that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So get him over there. Grab me. Which one can I hit? This one. This one. Yeah. This one. You can you can hit all of them. Just don't roll in that one, or you will kill me. <laughs> I want to hit this one. Okay. Uh, Owie. No, mine. Roll good, Ethan. I will try. Twenty-four to hit. Hit. <laughs> Why you sound like Vita? <laughs> hey man, that's not cool. You know you shouldn't copy me. Five damage. That's appropriation. Yeah, man. You know, not cool. All right, so you shoot a sunbolt. <laughs> and then I'll spend a key point to shoot another one. You Don't okay, you already shoot Mason? twice because you have multi-attack? I'll lie. You have multi-attack now, right? I don't remember getting multi-attack. Your level... The cookie's hidden. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> 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 well, this se this uh, joke session that we've been planning for a while is happening now. <laughs> Let's do it. No, I I want to be in on this when we do the joke <laughs> session. We'll have a round three. <laughs> well, that's like round three. So there's already been a round one. No, round two. Wait, I don't know. Okay, come on. Wait, Wait what cookies? So the that's second why. one. Right, there's like a noticeable difference with Mason. Uh, Eighteen to hit. Do it. Nine. Bro, Mason, quit smiling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for, for anyone at Aggressively home who doesn't lips. understand what's happening, uh, let's just say Mason is in a different state of mind right now. <laughs> and uh, we'll leave it there. <laughs> and on that day, Mason said, legalize it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, does that conclude your turn? Uh, yeah, that's it. That's my time. That's the time, folks. I've been all right. here all week. Okay, so Jory, your your turn. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be an interesting one. We're gonna. Okay, so they're over there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Should I attack? Do we, does anyone need healing? No. No, we're good for now. We're all good. right, I'm just gonna choose one and attack it. I will. Whatever one is at the lowest health. Just okay, same. that one. Eight plus nine is seventeen. Yep, hit. yep, yep. Hits, hits, hits. This is a solid fight. We're doing pretty damn good, guys. Six plus four, ten damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tw uh, yeah, that one hits. I rolled higher than the last one. And then uh, 11 damage. Oof. She's looking bad. So, where are you shooting at? Um, same as the last place. Okay. Um, so this <laughs> if is... If you remember that one. Same, stra same strategy. Same this strategy. Time, two shots. This bam, time bam. You, you, you thread the cheeks so, like, each arrow enters both at the same time. Did you, like say, a... did you just say thread the cheeks? Yeah, basically. It's a, it's a cooking technique. Mm -hmm. Like, when you, like, wrap the twine around the thing. That's what I'm trying to do. I don't think that's what Like I'm... a needle through. Yeah, like, needle through. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. That's basically what happens. Like, I don't know why, but and it makes that the makes same noise hurt. that I made before. What was it? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Oh, no, um, that voice. that does that conclude your turn? Yeah. Okay. Jack. So what Jack wants to do is he wants to take an action to disengage. When he does that, can you do like a backflip? Sure. He wants to do a backflip, and also he wants to do. He wants to use his meta magic to do. Quicken spell, mm -hmm. so using two sorcery points. So he, well, so first Jeff, off, move, move yeah, here. can you move me just five Come on. feet back in a diagonal? Yeah, I'm gonna cast Burning Hands. Ooh. <laughs> so Jack, like, does a backflip and then he just, like, basically, like, hugs himself and then, like, throws his hands forward and, like, like, these sort of, like, fire knives, they aren't actual knives, but they're knives, like, fire that looks like knives just, like, thrown outwards towards them. And so, I forgot. Two of them fail, one miss, uh, one succeeds. Nice. 
So All right, let me see how much. For sure. Yeah. Because like, that one was like a 20, and the other two were like five. Six. Four. Oh my god. Two. So. 12 plus 4. So that's 16 fire damage. 16 fire damage. Okay. Well, Jack Dawson. Um, <laughs> one of them... Two, two of them just die. Oh, wait, no. One of them dies automatically. Be gone, thought. So the one... Uh, the yellow one, kill it. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, kill that one. The, how much was it again? It was 12? 16. 16, sorry, 16. Fire damage. Because um, of my mo charisma modifier. Also, like, you never answered my question about how their eyebrows look. Okay, so... <laughs> their eyebrows are the bushiest fucking eyebrows you've ever seen in your uh, life. Not Like that. fucking caterpillars, like, on their uh, face. Okay? That's not what I meant. Is that what you wanted? No. Well, you got that. Okay? There. Um, 16 to that one. Or wait, no, half for that one, so it's Jeff. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. And Jack's going to attempt to blink. Blink. He blinks. Okay. He. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. I have my tools. I need my tools. You need to go to bed. <laughs> That's a Dennis. That's Dennis from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Jeff, will you put that ring Favorite on, Jack? Favorite show. So it, ring, it shows though? that he's in the ethereal plane. Mm -hmm. Okay, but like, yeah, all the way. All the way. Sash. That's what there I was going to do. I was going to, oh, and it stays. Mm -hmm. ah. Look at that. Look at that. That's how life works. Nice. Don't, don't try to break the fucking ring. Yeah. I'll do what I fucking want. Don't break want. the mini. I'm going to make you pay. All right, <laughs> that's all. Uh, okay, Jack, that concludes your turn. Yes. I think harpies. Ladies. Both of them move, they start flying, and let's just say they descend upon the, like right next to Jory, so right in front of him, and then the other one right in front of you, Ethan. No. Yes. I refuse to move them there, so, huh? <laughs> what happens oh. now? Okay, that <laughs> one on the attack against Jory. And that's going to miss. So both attacks on Jory miss. Jory is like, he's kind of like chilled out a little bit. And he's like, yeah, yeah. He's just like, whoo, whoo. Like, he's fucking gone, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all need to understand right now. <laughs> uh, one hey, you, he's not as gone as Chris right now. That's true. <laughs> not, yeah, that's, that's true. true. I've Some... dealt a lot of damage in this fight, mind y'all. Okay. I've been putting in work in this fight. I killed two Does of them. 17 hit? I killed two of them. I killed one of them. He's 18. We killed so they both one missed. together. We both killed, so we both <laughs> killed two. So okay, the harpy, uh, it tries to bump, uh, like it tries to like claw at you, and you're like, get this weak shit out of here, and you just smack it out of the way, and nothing happens to you. Unf uh, they fucked up. <laughs> they can't do anything else. Um, on the for the rest of their turn, they're gonna start flying up, and so they're like at least uh, 15 feet above now. Um, you guys can have opportunity attacks though. Yeah. Even Jack? No, you're gone. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I feel like I was anticipating this fight to be way more demanding. Oh, yes. <laughs> and so I'm just like, ah, I was like, ready. 13? Is a 13 hit? Yeah. Basin's fucking... <gasps> a 13 actually hit. And a 15 what? hit, too? Basin's wow. fucking face. 15 actually misses, I'm sorry. What the hell? 13 hits, but 15... <laughs> there's, like a, there's like a discontinuity. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's six like, damage. Mm. It's not differentiable there. Five damage. Mm. Okay, today in probability, homeboy whipped out the word convolution, oh, no. and I almost shot myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, I kid you not, I was like, "What the hell is that?" Ugh. I have to edit that now. Yeah, I'm sorry. Why would you do that? I have to remember this now. Okay, well, it's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. At, at this point, my life is literally just like, oh, I'm, sorry. I'm gonna edit this now. Huh? I'm sorry. That's it's me. around the fight. Just remember, it's like a few turns. Whatever. Into the um, fight. I'm just doing, kidding around. Guys. Um, Vita. Vita's gonna be like, oh no, they can fly too. And then he's going to cash. Um, vicious mockery. Ooh, it hits. Roast them, Vita. Big bushy eyebrowed motherfuckers. That's not what 
I meant when I said I like girls with big eyebrows. Like, I don't judge. But... I'd love for you to explain <laughs> what you did to me. <laughs> so what I mean is like, I love... I want you to imagine that everything he just says right now is exactly what's coming out of Vita's mouth. And that is the vicious mockery. And the explanation of being into bushy eyebrows. I'm not into bushy eyebrows. I'm being into, into nice eyebrows. Thick is eyebrows. like love a man so who likes a good bush. <laughs> oh my god. This like <laughs> <laughs> All of this is just coming out of Vita's mouth. I like and the, a woman. And the heartbeats are I, just hearing it. And they're I, freaking I, the fuck out. Let like, me hear, let me say it then. Let me say what Vita's saying then. Alright. I like a woman with blonde house. hair. And nice brown eyebrows. Like, that is the craziest, hottest oh thing like, ever. So, Vita just said that, and the blonde one, or yeah, that one, is like, Ugh. and it like, <laughs> <laughs> and it, <laughs> and it takes some fucking damage from that, for sure. Um, no. But that sounds One mean. One damage, too. That's the, wow. That okay. sounds mean. That sounds like I'm mocking women with nice brown eyebrows. I like a contrast, you know? I'm sorry. What's the I'm sorry that I, I'm sorry I have a thing for eyebrows. It's not weird. It's just, I think they're attractive. Yeah, yeah, okay. Anyways, uh, Vita does the max damage with Vicious Mockery. And then as a uh, bonus, can she do anything? I feel sorry for Mason's roommates. Oh, yes. That have to hit. Home. Yeah. As a bonus, she'll give a bardic inspiration to you, Ethan. As she looks over at you and is like, hey, you know, uh, I didn't really mean any of that. <laughs> so oh, I know you never meant it. Vita. And the, the fact that she didn't say that is so inspiring to you that you get a bargain. Guys, this is bullshit. I'm feeling really judged right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is not a healthy environment. My, my pod- so, my apologies. <laughs> yeah, Toro. All right. So they're 15 feet above. Oh, fuck. Let's see what I can do with this. Did you take an opportunity attack? I did, yeah. What was it? Did you not write it down? Five. Oh, yeah, I did write that. Remember, 15 hits. Right, that's right. I got it. (laughs) I did write that down. Well, Toro can't do shit from ranged except throw a hand axe, so he's gonna whack at range. So he's gonna get a hand axe and throw it at the purple one. Okay. Whack. 18. 18. Hits. Whack. Well, fuck, Toro. Five slashing damage. He rolled that one on damage. Mm. Okay. Is he a second attack? Yeah, he should. He does? He's a fighter. He's oh, a, he shit. should have a multi attack. Yeah, he does. He gets extra attack. Fuck, he's gonna. Wait, how many. <laughs> shit. How many hand axes does he. Oh, he only has one. Oh, shit, that's it. <laughs> I don't know what else to do with him. It shakes his fist angrily. Ah! <laughs> um, okay, Ethan. He throws one of his superiority Hello. dice at him. Sure. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so they're like 15 feet above us, right? So I can still... Thunball. Okay. Wait, he has two. Hmm? He has two. Then go ahead. Okay, sorry. Sorry. No, fuck well, me, I guess. Yeah, fuck <laughs> you. Ten. <laughs> Ten. No. Fuck. All right. <laughs> so okay, just, 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 you, you know, go ahead. So does his hand Come axe on. just go off into the void of space? We'll say it falls on the ground. Damn it! <laughs> okay, fine. It flies off into the void of space. Delta you you get what you want. Delta. Sure, it's gone. His axe is fucking gone. <laughs> like, we still have that monkey claw thing. We should have sold this shuri. Oh shit! We really should have. So, I forgot. I forgot about that. Oh, you have it now. I feel like you're okay. Not about lot, Ethan, so. hit. Whack. They're looking really bad. One is bleeding severely out of its ass. Ten. No. Are you having a bad trip? What do you mean, what? Nine. Okay. No. No. <laughs> That's not what I mean. That's my turn, folks. You two sunbolts, and it just moves out of the way. Whew. So we're on a boat, right? We're about to rest, right? Yeah. So there's no, like, real consequences. No. So I'm going to spin a key point and try and shoot again. Which one looks worse? Um, the purple one. Okay. I'm going to shoot that purple. Purple lady. Flying purple people leader. Fucking shit. Never mind. Okay. 
Uh, uh, another sunbolt goes off into the space, never to be seen again. Uh, does that conclude your turn? Yes, it concludes my fucking turn. Jory. Uh, are, and they're, I'm not gonna have disadvantage if I shoot at them. No, they're fly, they're no, they're flying up, so you're fine. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot at whatever one looks less healthy. Okay. Uh, six plus um, six plus nine, Hit. six fifteen. Twelve damage. Ooh, that one's dead. Okay, and now I'm gonna shoot the other so one. Th- where do you st- where do you shoot that one? You know where I shoot that one. Okay. And so the let- next one's a nat one. So. Okay. The second shot misses. That one, um, it pierces inside, uh, and that that harpy's dead. It experienced too much, and it's gone. Uh, too much pleasure. Uh, it's dead. Uh, you someone, too much pleasure? Yes. Uh, someone removed the the purple one. You do it, Jeff. It's gone. It's dead. Uh, Jack. Yeah. Blink back. Yeah. I'm gonna take you off the ring. What the fuck did Vita just say? <laughs> <laughs> you heard her. She didn't stutter. <laughs> Eyebrows, you know. I see, I see you, Vita. Do right. you? This is canon now. Unfortunate. <laughs> it's canon now? Oh, man. Man, don't say canon. Like, Toro's gonna get like a semi. Um, Jax. What did we. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. What is wrong with us? When no, Chris is not here, know. shit goes like nuts. Like, it's really, we need Chris back. <laughs> Chris! Chris! Chris. Chris. We're, we're not getting anything done. <laughs> Mason's Chris. <laughs> I'm gonna firebolt. Mason's gone to kind of. <laughs> what, this is what happened? Jack's gonna team. finger gun like. I've been doing that. I know, I know. I killed I'm so kidding. many things. You did a good job. 18. All right. I'm criticized out here. I'm not. No one's criticizing you. Yeah, you're fine. Is this a D10? Yeah. I can't count. It's D10. Roll I'm it. sorry. Wait, at least it. How? Wait. Just roll the fucking number. <laughs> Wait, are the per- is the percentage die in D10 the same? Yes! <laughs> Jesus oh. Christ! I keep, th- I kept thinking this was a D12 the entire time. Oh my Dude. God! Well, fuck! Oh shit! Okay, um, fifteen fire damage. Oh, two D10 plus oh two D10 plus four. Oh shit! Okay, so how much was that? Fifteen fire damage. Ooh, it's looking really <laughs> looking really bad. So that fireball, where do you shoot? What, what's happening? Shoot her in the ass. Please, God. All right. So you should. You, you, hey, I want to join in on the, the buns. Fun. You're roasting, roasting the buns. her buns. Exactly. Exactly. She's feeling. She's like, oh, what? And she's like, kind of like trying to put out the fire. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, you blink. Toasty buns. Uh, let's see. Are you done with your turn? Yeah, I'm done. 16. I blink. You blink. Okay, put the ring back on him. If you like me, should I put a ring on him? Uh, Please don't copy like, it. Hit him with a pen. No, the <laughs> last, the, the last. <laughs> just put it on there. It's move fine. the, move the board. Jeff throws a pen at him. <laughs> okay, I so then who did that? Uh, basically, this harpy, um, kind of seeing all its friends are dead. It's like, oh no, all my friends are dead. Um, one last valiant effort comes down Look, onto you're Ethan. Gonna die. And, like go all out oh. attack on him. Let's go. 19 plus some stuff, and that's the missing. So, might as well just die at this point. Like, come on, girl. Okay, that's seven damage to you. As the claws swipe it, yeah? What if I just say no? And starts flying up again, you can have an opportunity to attack. Bitch. Whoa, we don't say that word on this podcast. I've said it so many times. <laughs> The only acceptable use Twelve. is dumb bitch juice. Because <laughs> we're all on that right now. Yeah, what's your martial arts diet? It's 1d6, right? Yeah. All right, go ahead. <laughs> 10. How do you want to do this? I want... Okay, so Ethan, you... I want to... So is this a punch? Okay. So yeah, I mean, it is. Yeah, pro- okay. like you're using your fist. I'm using my fist as they fly away. Yeah. So I like, as they're flying away, I... Wait, guys, be quiet. He's so they're flying away, so their ass is like my eye level. <laughs> so I like pull into their hip. Oh, okay, good. Good. I was scared for a second. Um, what did you hell you think 
I was gonna say. What? Excuse me? You were punching. <laughs> Ass was eye level. I was really scared where we were going for one second there. I was super fucking scared oh, no. when I was about to have to describe, but we're good. We're good. So you hit, grab baby, hit, baby. You grab the leg and you bam right into the hip. You hear a crack as like the leg just breaks and you see it scream. And it like kind of like flies like has like haphazardly off and like it like starts to flounder as it's flapping and like kind of flies out of the range of the air and it just is floating off into space like choking and it's dead. Okay, good job guys. They're dead. We did it. Yay! Yay! The dead corpses of the ones. Let's loot. Jack, Jack comes yeah. back like, huh. bodies. So the dead bodies that were like actually next to you all, you were able to get um, 65 gold total. Ooh. Before Jack's able to do anything. Uh, or sorry, not gold. I'm sorry, silver. That's what I meant. Before Jack's able to do anything, he, he, he like blinks out of existence. He's just like, so guys, let's check the boop. Okay. Very cool. <laughs> All right, so um, you guys get 65 silver total. You can split it up how you see fit. Jack gets back. <laughs> hey, guys, I suggest that we, like, equally distribute that between all of us and the crew. Jack yes. brings out again. Yes, yes, you know, I think that would be a good idea. Um, How much do I get? Well, Jack's, like, blinked out right now. <laughs> like, do, She's just waiting for you to show up. Do we know up. how much? It was 65 silver but overall. Do we know that? Has he told us yet? I mean, you guys are searching together. When okay, you find this. so we all find sixty-five. Divided. Yeah. So what's sixty-five? Divided well, Jack's by actually five? not silver, like silver. searching. He just what's knows sixty-five divided by five. Jack just sees uh, it's thirteen. You're right. Yo, damn, dude. Did you do that in your fucking head? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but so, like, when you were divvying it up, like Jack, like he's gonna reach to go get his share, but he blinks out again. <laughs> It only Let's, lasts so long. <laughs> I know. But I'm cheating it like six seconds oh, at a time. You can, Let's all take our 13 silver and okay. call it a day. Vita grabs her, her 13. His. Okay. Oh, you know, I Jack's just had a quick question. I was talking to Shippy earlier. You know what? Well, I'll talk about it in the morning. And you all go back to sleep. Everyone get a long rest. Um, good job. Uh, so in the morning. Jack's going to give three pieces of silver to Shippy for being a good sport. Okay. You do that. Yeah. Shippy's like, oh, thank you. Oh, I, more pay than I've gotten in this entire thing, you know? It's great. You know what, Shippy? Have the rest of it. I don't feel like I give him the 10 pieces of silver. Okay. You've been good writing my memoirs. You gave him all 15? All 13, yes. The 13, that's right, yeah. I want to keep you around for a good amount of time. You've been quite a, you've been quite a good help Make around a here. Make a check. 23. You know, if the money keeps flowing, I guess I could stake around. Eh, as don't, much get, as my, don't get too cocky, Shippy. As much as my mind tells me not to. <laughs> don't get... All right. The, the, tone it down a little bit. Okay. I got it. I got it. More um, self-deprecating. Come on. <laughs> in any case, that happens. Uh, in the morning, Vita comes up, I guess at breakfast. She's like, by the way, I was talking to Shippy earlier and um, just curious. When we got that money from Tantalus... I got 15, but he says you all got 20. Was there something that happened there? I heard the crew got five platinum. I've just been asking around. You know, just a little curious why I got 15 platinum, but the rest of you seem to have gotten away with 20. Just really, just, you know, just questioning that choice, you know. Just just curious. I thought Jack t took some of his and gave it to the crew. At the time, it was Vita's yeah. five. It was I thought we were talking about it, but I thought it ended up being Jack. No, it ended up being Vita's at the time. Like, that's what everyone did. What? Well, I, took, I thought it, I, it, it happened, I took yeah. some out of mine. Wait. We, mm, I don't know. That's kind of retconning it. Well, no, I thought I did. Okay. Oh. But like, okay. All right. <laughs> um, well, how much was it? The Five. All right. Five I'll, platinum. Five platinum? Yeah. Well, oh, fuck. 50 gold. I'll donate five platinum. Yeah, I was gonna. Okay. I'll donate five platinum to Vita. Thank you, Jory. Good, good guy, Jory. Sorry for this misunderstanding. No problem. Just making sure we're all getting fairly paid here. Of course, but we also want to make sure that we all show up for team meetings. 
I, I do. Like, when have I not? <laughs> when we were divvying up the money at Toho's place. Oh, well, I was busy. I understand. So were we. Cool. <laughs> All um, right. So that wait, was that just the first day of traveling? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay, so do you uh, this this will be like the fifth day. So yeah. we skip one day, nothing happens. Fifth day. Uh do you guys do anything during the day? Hmm. Uh, okay. What about you? No. You? I'll continue writing my memoir. Make a performance check. What did you get? Twenty five. Surprisingly, this memoir is going very well. Even though Shippy, I oh, actually no, yeah, it was my words. Yeah, thank you. And Shippy is like, I am honestly, wow. Um, you know, when I started off this whole thing, I honestly thought it was gonna be a load of shit, but it's gone well. So Shippy, you know, yesterday how I gave you thirteen pieces of silver because you were doing a good job. Yeah. Saying shit like that is going to make me inclined to not give you 13 pieces of silver whenever you do a good job. Eh, I'm used to that. <laughs> uh, okay, nighttime watches. Let's get them done. Jack. 21. Nothing happens. All right, 22. I keep forgetting I have like my power proficiency. When I... you, uh, during the nighttime, you see a lot of stars. And it's pretty cool. I got nice. 25. Nothing happens. 25. I want, well, during my watch, can I do my little pyrotechnic wand? Yeah, sure. And like, pew! Shoot a little yeah, flare use a up. Use a expended charger or whatever. Yeah. Or, well, actually, by it's the gonna, time a yeah, dot, yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. Whatever. Um, okay, nothing happens during yours. You go ahead. Do you want to do a watch? Can I do one? You yeah. could. I've, I've never done a watch before. <laughs> wow. a, little, a little spicy what I, there. What do I do? Do I just roll a d20? Yeah. Wow. 17. Um, I think nothing will happen. You have high percentage. Okay. Ooh, okay. So I don't like that. I don't like that either. While Ooh. you're um while you're taking your watch, it's kind of you know, it's very quiet. You're just watching the stars go by as the ship slowly trundles along. Um and then you hear this voice. It's pretty out here. It's pretty. pretty oh. cool. What was that? Oh, you know. I, I, I don't know. Who who are you? Do you ever just look at the stars and just wonder where where we're going next, you know? Stuff like that. We're going to Raven's Moon. What do you Who what's over there? Why do you want to know who are you? Are you inside of me? You you know what would be funny? Yeah. Well, okay. Slapstick uh, did, comedy. Did, didn't you get that wand from uh from from the people? What, what does it do again? Wand from the people. Oh, the the one that um the wand of conducting you mean? Yeah, yeah. What does it do? What does it do? It plays music if oh, I choose. Oh, oh, okay, so 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 everyone's sleeping. What, what if we? What if we? Uh, what if we? What if we did that right now and woke up? Bad up? influence. I don't want. Who to... is this talking? I don't want uh, to wake. Who are you? Answer me that. I mean, wouldn't it be funny though? I'll answer that if you answer my question. No like response. how you're an officer of the crew and there's just this person that we don't know on our ship and you're just like being calm <laughs> about I it. Can see anybody around me? It's just a voice in your head. You're oh, not even shit, hearing it. You're just hearing it in your head. I don't want to wake <gasps> everyone up. Why would I but wake But it would be up? funny. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do you know who it is? No. No, I just have an idea what it is. Interesting. Come on, please. Have, have you been with me my whole life? No. <laughs> <laughs> really, no. Are you my guardian angel? Ugh. I'll play a quiet tune. Oh, it's not going to be quiet if you use that. Like, but he doesn't know like, that. But again, he doesn't know that. Well, he, Josephine explained do what it, it does. Do it. So you have a choice. You can do it or you cannot do it. I don't want to do, do it. it. Okay. Do it. Come do on. It, do, it, do, it, do it. Please. No. Do it. Uh, you're no fun. I'll live with that. Do it, do it, do it. No more responses that whole night. <sighs> okay. And then this is the final day of travel. We're on the seventh day. Nothing happens during the sixth day. All right. Anything during the day? Lever, Johnny, lever. Oh, lever, John. Yeah, you missed my sea shanty earlier. Trust me, <laughs> you are a very lucky man. <laughs> um, so that shit happened. Um, 
Yeah, I guess you sing during the day. I want to raise the morale of the crew. Oh my god! Right, I, I want to make the, make, I want to make, make sure that they're happy. Make and a also want to check. Make it also like start a poker tournament. Make a performance check. <laughs> like, attempt it. Uh, twenty five. Are you doing the poker thing? Yeah. Okay. I want to make sure that like Vita doesn't sweep house. How are you doing that? Huh? How are you doing that? No, I'm just I'm just I'm just kidding. I'm not oh, okay. actually gonna do that. Sorry. Oh, okay. Well, she. Sweeps house. Well, fuck. Did everybody have fun though? Maybe? Yeah, everyone had fun. Okay, cool. Like the uh, the outcome was inevitable, but everyone had fun along the way. All right, next time Vita's not allowed to play. Uh, it seems like people are grumbling about her just winning all the time. But yeah. Hey Vita, you ever want to take a day off from poker? So the no, lads, not really. Uh, just, no fucking no. Okay. <laughs> just so the lads can you know feel better about themselves. Oh, I don't really care how they feel. <sighs> As a captain of the crew, I need them to feel. Good. That really sounds like a you problem. Mm. You like being on the crew and getting paid? I really enjoy getting paid. Okay, well, you've been paid. But you don't pay me. Taha pays me. You're on our crew. Yeah, but my paycheck comes from him, so I really don't care. Yeah, but where are your travel and safety and insurance? Yeah, so? So what I'm saying is, without us, you don't have a crew. Okay, and? Without us, you don't have any way of getting a job for Taha to pay you. And so what happens? Vita, please, just come on. Like, Make a persuasion every check. Once, it's just <laughs> like, a persuasion like every once in a while. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. 25. Fine, next time I won't play. Oh. Or I'll play halfway. How about that? Oh, thank you. I'll let, I'll let them win half the time. Thank you, Vita. Wait, let them. Are you using your mind reading shit or whatever? Your little tarot, like, future? Like, I can no, see the future? No, I'm not. Maybe you should be banned from poker. Cool talk. I'll, I have to go. Uh, she leaves. Well, I'm never playing cool. poker. Anything else during the day? <laughs> I just ignore it. Just, no. <laughs> okay. Nighttime, we'll just say Toro does the watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the watch. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll do the watch. Come on. <laughs> I thought Mason died. It's a uh, yes. 20. Effective yeah, nothing, 20. nothing happens. You yeah, it's all clear skies. You see some pretty stars. What? <laughs> you saw someone die in Whataburger? No, I thought he was dead. Okay, hang on. They had the, secure, the manager was like, sir, sir, for a solid five minutes. And this guy did not move. So I was eating my fucking number five, being like, oh my God, this man is dead. <laughs> and it's happened. It's I know. Happened. I, like, I believe that he could be dead, right? But like, and then he like, ah, and got up and left. And I was like, oh my God, I thought, I thought he died. Did, did he look so, like he was like on like some bad trip or like? Yeah, he looked like he was definitely on drugs. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shit. But it was sense. also like two in the afternoon, right? Like, it was like, <laughs> come on. Like, afternoon delight. One time, I think it was when we went to see a movie. Um, you weren't there that time. But uh, Michael got like, basically some dude got arrested for drunk driving like right behind like Michael's car so he couldn't pull it out of the Whataburger parking lot. Oh. And so we were just like, uh, you know, we'll just walk home, Michael. And we just walked away and Michael was stuck there <laughs> for half an oh. hour with this guy getting like violently arrested behind him because like he was like, he was very aggressive and he was like, I'm not drunk, I'm not drunk. And then they had to take out a taser and tase him. It was she was going. And you didn't stick around for that. She was going off. No, no. Like we saw him get taken away, but then his car was just there, and I guess they were eventually going to get someone uh, to take it away. Oh, to tow it. Yeah. Oh shit. Damn. That sucks for Michael. Yeah. Michael was there for half an hour, I think, after we left. But oh well. Damn. Um. So that happened. Uh, Dude, Guada Burger is wild. It's a wild location. It's a, no, being there after midnight is a different universe. <laughs> it really is. Like, I went one time. I went once I after midnight. I Chris one time. And, Chris. like, a man threw up on the door. <laughs> there was another guy that they had to call security on because he was like, you're discriminating against me when he was clearly, like, shit face. <laughs> and they, he was not being discriminated against. And, like, they forgot about our order. So we ordered at, like, 1230, but we didn't leave until, like, 130, even though we ordered to go. Because we had to be like, hey, where's the order? And they're like, oh, shit, I didn't submit it or whatever. Or, like, we bumped it by accident. So we had to wait forever for our food. It was what? insane. It was another world. Damn. It was upside down. It really we was. Should and all also, like, I was we need to, like, right take state. a field trip sometime and, like, go there together after midnight. Like, straight up. It's scary. Like, I remember, like, we'll, we'll record an episode. 
record it. I don't episode. think that's a good idea. <laughs> no. I think you're going to get your shit We'll stolen. record it <laughs> afterwards. Like, record it afterwards. Mm, it'll be like, 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 so whenever, like, everyone goes to the hell, like, we'll, like, we'll do that for, like, prep for what the characters feel and stuff. Wait, we're going to hell? Um, anyways. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, Hello, police. <laughs> so, uh, all that shit happened. Good job, boys. Um, you did your check. Just two more people. Just do one real quick. I'll do Toro. I don't think anything's gonna happen though, because there's a high percentage. I'll do Toro. Yeah. Yeah. Fifteen. Nothing, nothing happens. You're good. Lever and time. one more from Jack, I think. What? Okay. Eighteen. Okay, so you see, um, Fuck. in the distance, you see like a ship pass by. Um, but it's just going in. What flags are they flying? None. What? Oh, oh shit! Hey. Uh, but they don't seem to notice you. Ooh, that's good. And they keep going. Good job. Hey, Vita. Yes. Is it common? This for... is the middle of the night. Why did you wake me up? I want shit. Sorry, I meant to talk to you. In the daytime? Yes. Okay. Well, why don't you come back in the daytime? No, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Daytime. During my sleep. Uh -huh. When I go back to sleep, I want to say Ellie, 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 Ellie. Persuasion Ellie. check. What the fuck? Okay. Nine. Nothing. I mean, I got a 19 the other time, but it yeah. didn't do shit. Because Ellie doesn't want to talk to me right now. Yeah. Maybe she's in danger. <gasps> hmm. Okay. So, you guys get to Raven's Moon. Um, in the morning, while you guys are eating breakfast, Shippy comes down and is like, Young man, do you really have to do this right now? There's no need to build down. Fuck, man. <laughs> Copyright strikes all around. Okay. So, I'm, I'm finishing it up, Brandon. It's okay. I used to work there. Okay. Really? Yeah. Keep going. Sorry. That's okay. Crazy. So, from space, Raven's Moon looks like a mass of gray clouds. Awesome. Uh, through which you can see blue-green forests, and there's, like, violet Ooh. seas. Uh, oh, coming dude, out of orbit, you find your ship, like, engulfed in clouds for a few minutes uh, before it emerges. And it continues towards the Hash Coast, which is mm -hmm. like what Jory has programmed in his bracelet. Uh, the ship touches down in the ocean uh, next to this small town, uh, which uh, you assume is Stuford. Stuford, here we come. Yes. And there's a constant. So looking at Stuford from the top of the ship, you just see like this constant like mist just covering the town, basically. It's really hard to see through, but you can kind of make out buildings and stuff. Mm. Ethan, what's your gnomish eyes see? He is, he is a, a... Fuck, you're a halfling. God damn it. What's your halfling eyes see? They see the, the planet, the same thing you see, Jack. Why? I didn't know if, like, them being all seems black seems kind of racist, you. you know? Like, I don't know what that was. Shut up, Vita. Vita. It has yeah. a point, though. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was saying that you're gifted. With your black eyes. I didn't know if you could see better. Oh, because his eyes are black. Shut up, Vita. Wow. I, really, I, it's just my eyes, Jack. It's just the color. Whatever. Never mind. <laughs> um, so through me? the mist, you can see there are residents. They're all bundled up. By the way, it's cold as fuck here. But like, am I cold as fuck with my ring of warmth? No, you're fine. Awesome. Um, are you bundled up? Did you ever buy warm clothes? I bought my... <laughs> Cloak of billowing. <laughs> <laughs> so Ethan's freezing. Uh, he, <laughs> he's holding his cloak of billowing, but unfortunately, what he didn't realize is the cloak of billowing is billowing, and so it's not really covering him it up all that well. Always long. below. I have to spin an action to make it below. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. <laughs> Can you imagine me being like, I can't do anything, so billow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just during combat, just like standing proudly with his cloak billowing while all the party members <laughs> die around him. It's fucking item, but I love it. Oh, yes. That's why I put it there. That's why uh, I put it there. I knew you were going to fucking buy it as soon as I saw like, Jeff, I'll see this. <laughs> Dude, there was some random. The rock, the staff of adornment, like legit, has no fucking use. Like, oh yes. Even Jack was like, I saw it and I was like, this is dumb. Like, <laughs> it's dumb, but like dumb, dumb. Like even <laughs> I won't buy this shit. <laughs> did you? Did you make that able, or was it? It was uh, in Xanathar's guide. 
Really? That's yeah, an actual magic guide? That's an actual thing. Xanathar's guide is full of useless magical <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> which is why I love that book so fucking much. I like it. Because there's so much garbage in it. talking doll from? From Xanathar's yeah. guide. <laughs> I love that. I was that. just like... Bruh, whoever Come was coming up with these? Fucking fight me. <laughs> like, oh my god, they're a fucking genius. I'll say that much. Okay. Um, yeah, guys, I mean, I think we're done for the day. We'll get into Raven's Moon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are we yeah, done? I was going to say. Uh, yeah. So, I guess everyone's going off into Raven's Moon? Yeah. All Let's right. go off. Yeah. Let's, Let's go. fully snap. All right. Snatch some wigs. Okay, so you guys enter into the mists of Raven Moon, and we will uh, pick it up next week. Or da, da, da. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, any, any, any? Co- hey, wrap it. We're, we're wrapping up. Come on, we're wrapping up the episode. Come on, one-liners, jokes. Come on. Fuck. Uh, uh, dude, dude, I don't know. Like, fuck, no inspiration for anyone. What? Well, I think we went pretty hard today, though. That, really? Yeah, the harpy fight was pretty good, but no, I mean, like, we went hard today. Like, even our. Even our ship looks like a penis. Like, <laughs> like that's how hard we went today. Really, like, it's really phallic. Yeah, sexual theme today. Yeah. We really Dude. did. Yeah. We were. This you is see, what this happens, happens when Chris, Chris isn't here. here. Chris really? just mutes out all Chris sexual is the one energy. That keeps us, um, akin to a uh, youth Bible study group. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a mug with Barack Obama's birth certificate on it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed that. Where's my little guy? Let's see, what's it say? <laughs> Where's my little guy? 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 Where's my little guy?